everybody are you ready for another exciting episode of run grind ah. Ah. Yo, i want to hear odo talk more about final fantasy uh, 15 stuff, please. i Thank grab you. your grab your throat and crush until your head explodes my Explode my head. oh my god how could this have happened Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Rot Grind. You can always find us here live on Twitch every other Saturday, along with finding all the stuff that we are at neodedecoration.com. Hope you all are having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, a lot of people may be asking, where's Uhura? He's currently getting milk. Yeah. He's currently out getting milk. Uh, he'll be back at some point. He's just getting milk. We'll we'll wait his return. But first off, I'm gonna go around the people who there's no announcements or anything today. Just thank you all so much for supporting us and stuff. Thank you all for sharing the show. Uh, always remember narrativedeclaration.com to find anything else about us. Uh, helping out the stream is really really awesome. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube stuff and us on podcasts stuff like that. Love you all so much supporting us everything. As along with our Patreon, all our amazing patrons. Uh, supporting us at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. But oh no. Who is now, who is currently homeless. Yes. <laughs> How uh, hi, are hello. you today? I'm good. Hello, it's me, Odoroshi. Uh, you can find me in your home, moving your furniture slightly to the left. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter at Odoroshi Writer. Uh, and I will be playing Vali, the uh, Sylph Swashbuckler. Awesome. Just to clarify, do you want to explain why I said you were homeless? Oh, yeah. I The new housing came out in FF14, and I didn't get it. So I'm stuck in my dinky little small house. That's why you're back to, ch to everyone in chat's house. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm going into every single person's uh, house in chat. And I've moved your furniture around. It's a pure spite move. Uh, I'll be out soon. Don't worry about it. All right, and next up we have Aaron Dill. How you doing, buddy? I'm used to Hulky taking a buffer zone. Uh, I'm doing tired, but I'm here and I'm ready for action and I'm ready to explode. I'm going to explode so hard because I'm playing as Baldrick the Alchemist and he has explosives and he'll explode you and I will explode you. And then next up we have Speaker D. Hi everyone, I'm Speaker D. Today I'll be playing Tanhauser, the android magus. And listen, I, I, Zoid doesn't want me to tell you the truth, but I have to get it out there. No, I know, no, I know no, where who no, is. No, 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 I know where he is. No, I know where he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he broke his jaw. Speaker. No. Bad. Bad. Oh. Ah. No. Ah. Bad. Ah. Bad. <laughs> what did we think? What, what did we say? I don't know where he is. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do for lunch? Uh, oh, you know, um. Do you Andy's. also want lunch, speaker? <laughs> uh, uh, well, no, you know, no, 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 no. Yeah, ask for food. You are you take what you are given. <laughs> They're gonna feed him more tripe, and he's gonna puke more. That's no, they can't great. feed him more molasses. That, that did happen uh, a few <laughs> days ago. Yeah, update. I had Chinese food a few days ago, and I ordered tripe. And I ate it, and I threw up, and that's the moral of the story. Don't order a tripe from that specific restaurant, I guess. You got it. We have terrible luck with Chinese takeout in this area. We do. Come to Maryland. We got a good Chinese place. I'm going to take Hulky to it when he comes back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right there. Anyway, who the fuck are you playing? Oh, I already told you. I'm playing Tannhauser. You know, if you were actually, like, a real oh, fan... Oh, you're right. I'm, I'm, you I'm a know. fake fan. Gamer. Yeah, fake. but you're not a real <laughs> fan, so I don't know. Anyway. Can't believe we let an all account into our game. Yeah, I know. Oh. It's, just, it's not. It's not Odo. It's something wearing her face. And the one who will help kill us all and maybe resurrect Hulky from the depths below is Thurston Hillman. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm looking forward to another session. I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, maybe maybe one where I don't have to come up with as many on the fly witticisms uh, while role playing an owl. We'll see what happens. Awesome. And I am Zoran the Bear, your host for this evening. I am currently playing Oren, you know, because I'm so goddamn inventive, the uh, strict druid. 
And uh, with that, there's really nothing else to really go on. We're playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition, as always do. We might get some rules wrong. Just please understand, we're human. We might mess this up or change some things to make sure the game just keeps going. All that fun stuff. Love you all. And Thurston, what adventure do you have for us today? Last time on Rutgrind, our intrepid band of destined chuckle fox ventured into the Cackling Jackass Bar, an establishment known to be used by the Children of the Blaze gang as one of their many front locations. There they sought answers on Prince du Shelf's presence at the hanging apartments uh, from our first session where our party fell off the edge of the sinkhole and into the abyss. Uh, however, they're also there uh, to meet with the gargoyle scholar Duhakis, who they were informed might have more information on the temple they previously visited and like what exactly is going on with our with our band and what they encountered there. Uh, as the group entered the bar, Rahua decided to pace outside a bit and follow up on the sounds of a creature alone saucer previously wounded by Orin. Lured further into the alley, Rahua found himself ambushed by a flock of saucers, these owl frogmouth style fae uh and he attempted to flee but rather than taking the sensible route of going around and going through the front door uh Rahua just broke through the wall into the bar uh, meanwhile inside the bar the rest of our gang attempted to figure out who was in charge uh though their efforts only forced the regular patrons out while the children of the blaze inside prepared for a fight this was all interrupted by Rahua bursting through the wall, and a flock of saucer owls came in. Uh, a great battle ensued where, I don't know, some stuff happened. Orin turned into a bear, Baldrick burned a woman alive with some alchemicals, um, the fates threw shade on Tannhauser on everything he did, and Volley danced around dodging goons and fae alike. Eventually, the group triumphed and learned from Prince du Shelf that they were not involved, that the Children of the Blaze were not involved in whatever happened at the apartment's that they should go up to the second floor to speak to the Children of the Blaze's leader, Mr. Alort. Uh, several of the group members headed upstairs to meet with the cordial gang leader, uh, Mr. Alort, who explained that he was not involved and merely interested in the PCs. Uh, he continued to go on to explain uh, that he allowed the PCs to abscond with Duhakis and even remarked, uh, well, or even informed them of remaining threats in the bar, including a, a trapped door just to the south of where they encountered him, and that there was an alchemist on the third floor of the bar. Uh, eventually, Tannhauser became annoyed with the man, attempted to attack, only barely able to strike, but then revealing that the, the Mr. Alort in the bar was nothing more than an ashen simulacrum. And now, our heroes must continue their journey up to the third level of the bar. And so that is where we are going to start today. I'm going to shimmy us over to where we were. Um, and we are, we are, we are back in it to win it, everybody. Um, you are all in. Uh, Oren, you have recently returned with Prost to Shelf, having brought him back, though now... Uh, Mr. Lord has, has disappeared. Tanhauser, you've just finished sticking your rapier through the, the ashen simulacrum of Mr. Lord, which has dissipated into the air. Uh, Baldrick, you've now peered across the corner and Vali, you've been by Tanhauser as this is going on. I'm going to hand this off to you all for what you would like to do and how you would like to proceed. Excellent. Um, so Thurston, you say that our objective right now is to get up to the upper floors of this area. I mean, yeah, like, you, you know that the yeah. gargoyle Duhakis is, is up there and that Mr. Alert confirmed right, uh, their presence up there. Okay, good. I say we burn this building to the ground. Uh, uh, very good. A gargoyle All right. to first. Let's not do that. Oh. Arson, maybe. Gargoyle first. Well, Given man. that you have recently put up opposition to me destroying buildings that may or may not contain innocent people, I find it a little amusing. You're trying to turn that around, so let's... Take a page out of that book, shall you know, we? When have I ever expressed dismay with burning down that building? I just think we should be tactical about what buildings we burn down. Yeah, we'll, well, uh, we'll put a pin in the arson for now. Thank you, Baldrick. Mm, I wanted to have a drink before we engaged in the arson, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Well, just come downstairs, get yourself a doctor's egg, and you'll be fine. Thurston? Yes? Kind of have uh, uh, Prince du Shelf or whatever just kind of like in my jaws, really. What? Just like like I'm holding him like a dog, kind of talking to him. Like, and I like spit him out in front of everybody. 
Uh, yes, uh, which he kind of like tumbles to to the floor, like gasping. <laughs> uh, why have you brought me back? I was uh, I was allowed to leave. Uh, well, your boss isn't here anymore, so I, I guess you could stay. I distinctly recall your boss saying you were free to go, not us. But you told me to go get him back. I, that's what I meant. You did, and you did a very good job, Aura, and I'm gonna, like, rub his fuzzy little bear ears. Yeah! From, from this distance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, extend yeah. my arms. <laughs> the, the hand is... <laughs> <laughs> I would move my token, but uh, Foundry doesn't want to load oh. for me. Oh, no. Yeah, just do a refresh. Yeah, yeah. I'll move your token in the meantime. Remember, then. hardware acceleration Whoa. must be on. There you go. Hardware acceleration. There you go. There we go. Go on, Danhauser. Yes. Oh, God. Okay. I, I just tried to move my token on the Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, what we call a pro gamer move um <laughs> it's so real well it's what do you guys want to do with them uh, you could just let me go i promise you'll never hear from me I, again I, I, I put like a bear claw to his lips the adventurers are talking we decide your fate <laughs> All right. Shh. only dreams Yours. i'm gonna give him some rum are there there, there, buddy. Uh, Cry it out. Okay. You, you're certain you have nothing to do with the destruction of our building, you know, back in the giant sinkhole? No, we were just there playing cards, Monsieur Lord. Wanted you to stop and play cards there? So you just thought that you guys were playing cards. Did they do anything... Weird? I mean, weirder than the outfit. No, we, we, we came back here after. Huh. Just, he didn't he just, he just waited for you to book? come in, and then once you were there, I guess you, you scared him off. He wanted to come here. I mean, he didn't seem very scared of us here. Well, no. <sighs> Look, trying to pick fights with him at the moment... Or the. The Mormon. Moment. The Mormon. <laughs> the Mormon. I, I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> you're, so, you're good, King. Yeah, you're good. The Mormons? <laughs> well, Elort at the moment doesn't seem to be a problem for us. He's letting us go and find our, you know, our gargoyle without any issue. If it comes to that, then we can come back and try to deal with whatever he may or may not have set up, but... Uh, we should probably grab our tree and just get moving. Mm -hmm. Damnation. I wanted to break this gang. Well, that's not really for you to decide. It's not really for me to decide, either. I have a strong suspicion that this well-spoken smog monster was more than likely our Cajun friend. Cajun doesn't exist in this world. Pretend I said a more fitting word. Fantasy Cajun. Fantasy Cajun. It's just in the <laughs> world of Tyne, it's a fantasy world, but Louisiana is there. It's just called <laughs> Fantasy Louisiana. Yeah. His crawfish true. boils as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Sorry, that was that one got me, Erndil. Good. I would say Leerny of the Lakes based off all of my fucking spicy swamp. True. Giant monsters. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh, you, you're the you're the mountains of ruin. Here's the vast pit. Here are the Everglades. Here, <laughs> and here in Louisiana. Right. Yeah. We we put we put Tonys in everything we eat. We have no other way to spice our food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. If you're really not any use to us, I don't see any reason to keep you around any anymore, so. We'll just head back downstairs and we'll formulate a plan, then we'll move on. Right. Well, we do have that gargoyle to still speak to once we figure out how to get to the third floor. Yeah. I might be able to climb the outside of the building if we're feeling spicy. Probably best to do that from the ground floor rather than through the window. Are Depends there windows? on how many footholds there are. Actually, looking around, are there windows on this floor? Not from where you currently are, no. Great. Ah, a Project Zomboid house, if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> not, not on this particular floor, no. 
well, uh, in this he, area. He <laughs> did say that one of the doors there was trapped to shit. We haven't tried the other, though. Mm -hmm. We could attempt to open them from afar. You got a little bit of uh, a special door opening magic? I'm afraid my most common door opening spell is produce flame. But Let's, we can we don't, always throw something rather hard. Here's a suggestion. Why don't we just get the key from Elfo here? Do you have it? Uh, for the, uh, the upper area, uh, yes, I have a, there is a key here. Here you, here you go. And he, uh -huh. like, pulls out, like, a little, like, little skeleton-style, like, brass key. Uh, please take it. I, uh, I just want to live. Of course, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, if you're looking for new employment, I've got a crew with slots open. Do you uh, no give money, me, all vibes. Do you want to give me, like, a diplomacy check here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't pay you in money, but it's got great vibes. Give yourself a minus two circumstance penalty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For saying you don't have money. <laughs> This is where the yeah. nat 20 comes, everybody. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Or the one. Or the he's, one. he's just here for vibes. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's go. Saturday night's all right. Oh, 20. <laughs> There's the natural 20. <laughs> we got it. Let's go. We got it. Got hot chocolate. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I always like someone who is dressed uh, for effect. Perhaps maybe I should uh, join your little gang and like takes a step away from Orin towards you, Vali. I'm your health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that he is the health insurance, isn't he? Does not come with dental. Don't ask. Wait, you yes. don't even From this day on, I, Prince du Chef, pledge myself to Captain Valley. Of course, and uh, I'm going to take out my rapier and, like, touch either of his shoulders. There we go. It's Welcome to the right. crew. Hey, don't, yeah, don't... I'm part of the crew. <laughs> Does she want to, like, like, get him a contract, like a pirate contract and stuff? Write something up for I him? Don't... Pirates don't do contracts. Yeah, they do. Most of us don't know how to read. All right, welcome to the show. crew. <laughs> 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 She's like, okay. <laughs> that is uh, so good. I'm so glad we can all be the friends. Yeah. I'll get back to you. I'm working on the ship situation right now. Do you have any sailing experience? Uh, air sailing. Airship sailing. Absolutely not. I am skilled at the gambling, and I know some things. Well, flying an airship is like gambling, so I'll get back to you. Sounds good. Well, for what it's worth, I'm sorry for saying that we were going to skin you alive and keep you upon a pole as an example to others. I, uh... I hope you don't hold it against me. I feel like you should quit while you're ahead. I'm so glad to be part of the team. How's this hazing? Eh? He kind of like short, like like bumps his elbow on Baldrick's shoulder. Hey, you do this to everyone, right? No, he's just crazed. I would yeah. advise just getting out after we get our key here. Uh, as that happens, all of you hear uh, echoing from the stairs a thump, 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 like something knocking on wood. Ah, oh, great. Oh. Well, that <clears throat> might be our gargoyle friend. It's very I think well from down, downstairs, though. Oh, downstairs. Arm begins to head downstairs. Okay, yeah, let's go that. check that out. Yeah, um, so all of you make your way uh, down the stairs. Prost sort of, like, leads the way. Um, coming down, Oren, you sort of step up as well. Uh, um, you come down to see the the room, like, still the corpses are in their various locations of both people and sauce owners. Uh, the charring, burned corpse in the, the far corner of, of the single blaze bully. Uh, however, there is a knocking to the door to the north. Your companion, Rahua, as well as the other two um, staff members who are here are nowhere to be seen as you come down. I, uh, may I begin to hastily shove the bodies under this couch over here. Absolutely. 
Just awesome. like grab the saucer corpses and just like yeah, I, I, mostly the human corpses first. Okay, so <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah ab- absolutely. Like he's just, just, just lifting them up and just throw them under, and it's going to be all lopsided. Like it's obviously there, but it's in the corner. And he takes mm-hmm. the rug that's nearby and just throws it over him as quick as he can. Sure, the, the... you want to give me a stealth check? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got plus two plus two yeah. here we go oh bear stealth uh oh, 16 bad. yeah yeah I mean it's not great but it's like it'll hold up to basic scrutiny I suppose <laughs> slight judgment yeah just a little not knock, psychopath knock, knock. judgment just normal yeah 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 knock 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 you hear the, the, the front door it's coming from the, the door to the north the one you entered from Knock, knock, knock. If you want to answer that, who is it? We're not decent. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> we all have we all have social anxiety that we don't want to talk to anybody now. Just like yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Baldrick, you go up to the door. Baldrick turns around and he like motions for Volley to move the the. Well, no, because that, that's that, the dwarf's corpse is moved. Uh, it's just yeah. the I should, uh, yeah, I should I have moved that all of them. one is like uh, yeah, here. I'll, I'll, it's just yeah. a pile of bones and ash. It's fine. Yeah, yeah I prior- just, I wanted to prioritize the human. human yeah, you, you have enough time to like the, the saucers aren't like massive. So, yeah. Hello. Hello. Are you open? Ah. No, we are currently closed for renovation, pal. Uh, I, I just wanted some tendies. So do you have any tendies right now? <laughs> I take um I'm gonna take one of the dead corpses of the owls. Oh no. I'm just gonna walk over and I'm just going to raise it up and hand it to him over Baldrick. You shoulder. close the door, Baldrick. You just like slam the door. <laughs> Go for it. This is the closest thing to tendies we have. And I hand it to him. He like this old man, like long ball, like, like, like wide bald hair, some hair in the back. Takes takes the the the, the charred corpse, looks down at it, looks up. Oh, these aren't your regular attendees. This is something. That... It's DIY Tuesday, and I'll close the door. Uh, rude, just like your other staff were. Excellent. We may not succeed in defeating him today, but at the very least, we've lowered this one's food review rating. You need oh, to stop taking course. these things as victories. You know what? I take my hope where I can get it, Baldrick. Baldrick kicks the ashen, crispy corpse. Yeah, and like you, you hear, uh, Baldrick, give me a perception check. What am I fucking perceiving? You're, well, you're just giving me a perception check, that's all. Fucking hilarious. Menacing. Mm-hmm. Rull. I'll give you an 18 total. Okay. Uh, you, like, kind of hear the muttering as the door closes, like, just like that that, that walking tree and those other two. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Speaking of, where the hell is Rahua? Oh. Yeah, where is our tree? Could the other me. two, anyway. Uh... Wait, I'm going to open the door again. Just run yeah. out. Yeah. Did you say walking tree? The man is like, like, and clearly he has dropped the saucer corpse, like, just in the middle of the street to discuss turns to you. Yeah. Wait. The tree man. Him and him and the other two. They, they were walking away from here. Said they were going to a restaurant to get something to eat. Oh, what? What restaurant? I don't know. I didn't ask him. Hmm. Okay. Well, have a good day, sir. Get Tendy's back on the menu, damn it! No. <laughs> Closes the door. Well, I think Rahua has. Yes! Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I take out my rapier. <laughs> I think thinking of what happened last session, thinking of chasing him, I stow it back and I come back in the room. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Uh huh. The good the bad news is, Rahua is eating at a restaurant and I have no idea where he is. Oh. 
The good news is that Rahua has not been adopted by these horrible owl creatures brought to the summit of this place and dropped from lethal orbit. So, there's that. He's pretty heavy. I don't think they could carry him. Maybe I mean, he maybe just made some, them. Maybe he just made some friends. Yeah. Aww. Hey, uh, Thurston, while they're doing mm. this, can I can I quickly loot, uh, root through this to find anything else of value in behind the cabinet? Yeah, you can give me another perception check. Please. So now I gave a good bit of the money over to the guy for winning the, the bet. We got him on our side. Eh, 14. Um, you're not finding anything else. Like, they, they, they haven't, like, like the coin you've given away has been pretty, pretty well given away. You're not seeing anything jumping out at you as far as stuff you've missed here. All right, then I eat an egg and some cheese, and I go back to the front. Okay. I'm, I'm going to reach around over the counter, and I'm going to, like, grab two bottles of rum. <laughs> kind of. Like, can you just them. assume they have rum? Hey, Vali. Uh-huh? What do you want your newest crewmate to do? There's a bunch of bodies that probably need to get thrown out. Oh, yucky. Um, what should we do about that? Hey, Chef, come out here. We got a, we got a problem. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> I assume he's been trying to sneak off the entire <laughs> yeah, time. exactly. Yes. <laughs> the token's moving towards the door, and you're like, hey, did you have one of me? You know... It doesn't really matter if there are bodies everywhere. We're not exactly invested in the success of this establishment. We should probably yeah, burn them. It's unsanitary. I don't that, care. That sounds like someone else's job that, you know, I hope they're unionized, but beyond that, I have no yeah, relation. Yeah, like the shelves. What? <laughs> yeah, all right, crewmate. Your first job is to dispose of the bodies. Wait, Can I no, order him around, Violet? Do I have permission? I always Stop. wanted to order someone around. Bird boy, <laughs> quit it. We didn't Man. agree to that. Uh, well, I think that Oren has earned the role of first mate. So sure. Righteous. Well, what's my job then? Uh, Accountant. quartermaster. <laughs> quartermaster. <laughs> Thurston, I take the thinnest glass uh, <laughs> bottle and I smash it on the counter loudly. Yeah, yeah everyone yeah. like hears this. Man. Can we focus for one damn minute? I think you're forgetting our tree friend has just kind of absconded with two people who we were trying to keep tabs on. He's just if getting some went, munchies. If they went to a restaurant... Listen, we know that Rahua is curious. He probably just wanted to see what the restaurant is all about, what it's like to eat there. And if he's not? Okay, fine. We'll go and see if we can find the restaurant he's in. We'll peek in the window, and if he's just having a nice dinner, we should let him have it. That's, That's fine. Might, that I might don't like leaving. Nice. I don't like leaving loose ends who know where I live. Fair. Here, why don't I go and find him while you guys clean up here? Wait. How about we all just go because I don't want to go shoveling corpses out the damn door? I'm not a plod. Wait. If, if we're loose ends, if I try to go back home, are you going to try to murder me? Baldrick takes a little jar out of his pocket and just, like, gently tosses it in his hand. Baldrick? All I'm saying is that we find him, all right? You know, that is not as straightforward an answer as I would like to that question, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bottle that up and we'll figure that out later. Let's go uh, find Rahua. Very well. But let's be quick about it. We must yeah. strike while the iron is hot and the situation is within our control. That's Should the ideal. at least alert the gargoyle that we're here? You expecting us? Okay, we need a mission objective. What is our objective? Check out Find... Rahua. Go, go ahead, I'm sorry. Find Rahua. Then, when we're done with that, we come back and we talk with our gargoyle. According to Alort, she isn't moving, so we're fine. Fair enough. Fine. Let's just be quick about finding Rahua. That's the plan. I'd like to spend no more time on this than we have to. And remind me, remind me again, Thurston, what information did we want out of the gargoyle again? 
Cousin Kinnebrin had sort of like pointed you in the direction of Duhakis as someone who is knowledgeable on like old powers and maybe what the F happened to you in that uh, that temple you found yourselves in. Mm, okay. As sort of like a resource you could talk to about like, hey, we all fell into this weird temple and like there was a magic fire and Vali was on a painting and <laughs> that trying to figure out the, the meaning yep. of that. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we have our uh, notion. Let's get into motion. Okay. Orn, um, Orn's going to look at the shelf. And yeah, he just like, like has this wide smile like, hey! Hey, man. Yeah, well, well, good luck with the job. Everything else. Hope you have a good time. Here, a little bit for your for your issues, man. Just, I, I, I feel kind of bad. So here you go. We probably should Orn, pay him. Yeah, Orn is actually going to take just one gold out of his pocket, even though it's a lot everything else he's still gonna give the shelf it's like look man i'm sorry for all the issues and stuff i caused you and I almost ate you once so it's like you know uh, what's, a, what's a little uh eating between friends uh, yeah yeah just remember again. i have your scent so i'll find you all right see you later man <laughs> the door is kicked <laughs> open Death back. uh baldrick can you give me a perception check to kick open the door you got it no just just a just a perception check as you open the door Another one. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Hey, that's much better. That's 22. Uh, okay, so so you managed to open the door, and you, uh, like, poke your head out briefly, and what you see is um, about a block or so down, like, like pretty far away, but, like, silhouetted um, to the west, you see a patrol uh, garbed in the attire of the Tyrant's Guild. It looks like a street patrol. Yeah. There's about six of them. They are coming towards this direction, correct? Yeah, yeah. So they're basically like coming from this direction towards you. Good. We got cops. You all are fine. I need to stay hidden. Right. You understand? You're not the only wanted man in this group. You aren't currently wanted by them. You fought your way out. You're legally fine. It's ambiguous for me, but there's only one way to find out. If you go loudly announcing you're a pirate, I think they'll take issue with you. I say we stay within this building. If we go chasing after Rahua when he's safely eating a restaurant and call the Tyrant's Guild on our heads, we'll have a lot more trouble than we bargained with. Yeah, but if they're on the investigation in case someone called a disturbance in on this place, grab the grab the owl corpse. We don't I'll, want them getting I'll, a reason. I'll get to it. Orin will rush out. Orin rushes out grab there. It. Yeah, grab uh, give it me and come back. Give me a perception check as well, Arn. Sure thing. Plus eleven. Let's roll. Yeah. Wow, dude, twenty-one. You got a Okay, so so they're getting closer. You're pretty you're pretty uh, on par with what Baldrick had, but like they're closer now, so you're able to make out a bit more. The patrol appears to be Whoa. entirely composed of skeletons. Oh, they're like marching in armor. They appear to have like two handed glaives that they're wielding, and they're marching sort of with like a uniformity to them. Two ranks of three, and just you hear the the, the plodding of their feet. <laughs> what are you um, seeing, kid? And then you sneak back inside. With the corpse, I presume? Oh, uh, yeah, holding holding the bird corpse. Sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. I got, I was dealing with the side of you. I'm, I'm still rushing in with the bird corpse. Yeah, you, you get inside with the corpse. Yeah. No problem. I apologize. I'll, I'll uh, lock the door and maybe turn out any lights that might indicate activity or that, hey, come on in, we're open. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bob Baldrick is putting out the smoldering embers of the elf. Yeah. Stomping on it. So I'll be turning out these candles and just kind of creating only dim light nearby, not nearby any windows. Sure. <laughs> Thurston, please turn out. off all lights in the building and leave us in darkness. Darkness. Yeah. Is there like a like a lit chandelier or something like a hanging light? Um, I, I assume it's mostly just like the the table lighting. So. Okay, because Orange is helping out, but go. I'll help. <laughs> to just wing buffer. Hey, get yeah, all these things go out. What yeah. did you see? You look like you paused uh, for a sec. 
Uh, I saw a whole bunch of them. They, they seem to be a bunch of dead guys. Is that normal around here? Oh, great applaud patrol. That's actually not that bad. Dead guys? Hold on. Elaborate. Uh, Thurston, I will go ahead and do a... Society. I will go ahead and do a society! Or outset law, would that be better? It's the same general thing. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. Rolling it. Uh, it'll be a 24 for outset law. Okay, uh, so specifically you're looking to, to like, what you know about, like, the Tyrant's Guild. Plod Patrol is, is the, uh... It's the colloquial term for, yeah, a patrol of mindless undead set out by the Tyrant's Guild. Typically, they're set out with, like, very specific parameters. So they're not the type of people you, you can negotiate with because they are mindless undead. Uh, and these are the type of patrols that would be set out on some kind of mission. Exactly what you're, you, you would know, but they would be programmed with it uh, by seniors in the guild before they'd be sent out. Main thing to deal with as far as they're concerned is they're usually sent out with something in mind. So if you're not that specific objective, you're usually fine. Huh. Should we just wait for them to walk in and see what they start rummaging through? Given that I am technically a wanted man, uh, probably not. Hmm. Well, we don't know if they're here for you. They wouldn't know that you're here. No, they wouldn't, but why would they be coming this way? Every single person in this room, except for Orin, is a wanted criminal. Yeah, a lord had some skeevy stuff going on. Maybe the Tyrant's Guild knows a little something. We can um and her over this a bit later. Let's say we sneak out through the hole Rahua made. Why are we sneaking out? Hello? I'm going to chase. As you, as you see a man rush from one of the back rooms to another room, um, you like follow, follow up. He clearly a dwarf that is like rushed out from one of the back rooms. You never checked, um, and you, you you spot him, Tanhauser, rushing away from the conversation. And like the dwarf is moving to close the door, and like looks up at you. Oh, hello there. Hi there. I'm. Just leaning entirely on the door. We're not doing this again. Uh, just like, like holding my way. <laughs> just, just, just break the the. Hinge. I need all three actions. If combat breaks out, Thurston's <laughs> not taking an action from a fucking door. Uh, hi. Do you work hi? here? Uh, uh, yes. Do you work for Prance? Uh, yes. Congratulations. Your contract's been bought out. You work for Vali. And I hi. point at Vali. Hi. Hi. Uh, that sounds like her tack. Were you sleeping in the back? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, sleeping in the back. That was my sleeping in the back. Did, well. Did all the commotion not wake you up? Oh, it woke me up. I wasn't going to fuck around with that, though. That's smart. You know, I respect uh, that. Uh... <laughs> hey, hey, Thurston. Real quick. Yeah? Can I take a book out of Arno's out or a leaf out of Arno's book and put and prop a chair up against the door. <laughs> yes. Okay. The the door is now barricaded. Yeah. The the one Arnold. to the north here. Yeah. The one to the north. Arnold yeah. tug Baldrick's coat and go, Mister Baldrick. What's up? It's also the back door, and I think there's another door over here. And Orin will point to here and say, "This building, this building is probably a lot bigger than we think." Uh, how yeah. about I move this couch here? I'll just push it over here and lurk. Oh, uh, watch out for the bot. Uh, you'll figure it out. <laughs> We're going out through the, the whole first thing. house. How many corpses did you fit under this thing? I got inventive. Uh, anyway, Birds don't work that way. Oh, God. Allow me to welcome you to the revolution. Now help us move bodies. The bodies are all moved. We're good. Oh, make sure they don't move anymore. Okay. They're dead. Right. right. Thanks. And welcome. Wait, yeah, just... get, you have a good time. You have a good one. Uh, 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 I'm going to get a drink. Uh, good it idea. Walks to the bar. Good. They're you know, all free now. This is exactly anyway. the sort of crew member I want. Does anyone else need a drink? I, I'm going to have two, in fact. If anyone else wants two, so I don't feel self conscious, that's okay too. I want a water. Give me one. Uh, uh, Thurston, can I sneak out the side and peer around the corner rather than through the fucking door? 
like to peer oh like down the hall here i want no i want to like leave out the hole that rahua made go up oh. here and peer around the corner rather than through the door where it would be obvious and i'd have no angle of escape uh yeah 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 absolutely excuse me while i move all that distance Um, you, you can tell that they haven't arrived just yet. How far off are they? Ah, they're about... Let's see here. They're probably just turning the corner. Facing us? Yeah, so here. I'll, uh... here. I'm uh, going to have myself here. out. Oh, but yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, you can see them there. So, they're 60-ish feet away from you as you, like, peer across the corner. Do I need to hide it all to make sure they don't see me? Uh, you get the impression, like, as you peek around, they haven't spotted you. If you want to get a better look or anything or engage, like, that would probably make you perceptible to them. I'm going least. to just keep look out. Okay. Let's see what they're going to do, and if they move any further up, uh, like, past the, the door, rather than stopping at the door, I'm going to duck back. They keep walking. I am ducking back. Can you give me a stealth check? Yes. Oh, boy. Let me see. Where is... There it is. I ate the egg, so can I have an egg bonus? I'll give you this. You can't egg bonus all the time. There's, there's going to eventually come a... Well, I'm going to be leaving the bar. I'm not taking them with me. Okay. Egg bonus is fine. Plus one egg bonus. There it is. The egg bonus. Value must not be zero. It's one. Mm -hmm. uh, 16. Yeah, uh, it seems like they, they don't uh, they don't take note of you immediately. People will uh, find out why I'm exclusively referring it to it as the egg bonus. Hmm. Soon. Um, and then they seem to be going to the side building here. Uh, this like stone storage building um and one of them like comes up to the door and they seem to to be like opening it and then going inside can i tell what that building is for, other than for storage or is it just as like a warehouse uh, you get enough of a chance to peer in just to see some boxes but they do close the door as they go inside mm. i'm gonna go in and relay all that sure just so i don't have to say it all again yeah just yeah, so anyway, I don't know if that other guy was like, are you really feeling the other dwarf? Because I did eat him. Uh, no, no, no. Fuck that guy. I don't like him at all. Ah, cool. I have no thing. See, Volley, it's I just I didn't fine. like that one either, but now you're a pile of dust, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Crew. Oh, glad to see we're all we're all in good spirits. I removed the chair from the door to emphasize that we are not in danger. Oh, you uh, sneak out to take a little peek at the skeletons? Yeah, they went to the warehouse next door. We're probably fine. Hmm. I say we need to take our chances. I say we um. get what we need to do here done and then go find Rua. There's no point in risking a second encounter. Fine. fine. I am curious what they're there for, but. We do have a job to do. I'm hardly curious about the goings-on of the Tyrant Guild. I always assume it's bad. Well, probably not an incorrect guess. All the more reason we should find our gargoyle before something stupid happens to her. As something always stupid happens around here. Come on. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to assume uh, all four of you are going to head back up to the second floor. Yep. Yeah, I'm yeah we'll, leave, we'll leave our newfound companions here. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to warn yourself on the door of saying, hey, don't go to that back room. We saw a couple uh, scaly guards go by. No, thank you. I don't want to be in the tyrant's guild's hands. All right, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll hold down the fortune. Yeah, an old drink. Drink, drink, drink. Yeah, an old <laughs> drink. <laughs> Me too. Oh, me. drink. All right. Uh, okay, so you head back up to the second floor um, where you come up the stairs. You're sort of in like the the small library area there's the the small sort of like love seat there and then the larger uh couch and setup and then there are the two doors uh one to the west and one to the south 
The west door was the one that was trapped, right? No, the south one was the Okay, one. so I'll pop open the west door real quick. Okay. It okay, opens up to a balcony, yep, where you can see there are some tables set up, and it sort of overlooks the area. I'm just going to give it a quick scan to see if there's no one else on this balcony. Sure. All right, we're clear. Is that a um, box or is that a chair? Th oh, here? Yeah. This is a box. Don't tempt me with crates. Well, I'm tempting you with crates. Uh, yeah, so you come out, you can see here on a balcony, there's two, two, two sort of like tables set up. This is about a story above, so you can look down and see the streets, the roofs of some buildings nearby. As you are doing this, however, you can see a door on a building, the, 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 the ceiling of the warehouse. The warehouse itself has two towers that go up another floor, but one of the doors open and two of the skeletons seem to have walked up the stairs and are plodding their way out onto the, the ceiling of this structure. Mm hmm. They are walking to the south and out of line of sight. Baldrick is going to inch around. Okay. The box blocking me, or can I move past it? You can, you can move past it. Um, I can't oh, get a actually. Good yeah, and you should, uh, because I. Mi oh, no, yeah. You, should, you shouldn't be getting quite a good angle because of the, uh, the wall and such, but yeah. Oh. Uh. I don't like this. Let's start going up quick. They're moving awfully brisk in the same general direction we need to be going. Uh, there is nothing over here. There's no, it's just more here. tables. Uh, there's like a gas yeah, sealed crate that appears to have some bottles in it. We'll check that out on the way out, I think. Hmm. We haven't found the third floor access yet. Third floor access is through this door down here the, the one that's, one? Trapped. that's the one trapped to shit yeah that's the one that leads to that's the one that's been trapped we got the key for it um do, i don't know if the key untraps it does it probably not yeah in that case i'm going to take some rope from my bag mm -hmm. i'm going to tie it around the doorknob mm -hmm. and kind of like lead it out i'm gonna go through here okay. essentially Okay. And I'm going to say, everyone crowd into this area. Uh, did we did we insert the key to unlock the door? Uh, yeah, we should probably insert the key, unlock the door. I'll do it. Excellent. Ah, thanks. Um, so does hey. anything happen from that? Uh, well, so Oren, you're going to insert the, the key into the lock? Yeah, Ornus is really happy that Townhauser gave me gave him a task. He, he beams a bit. He's like, "Yeah, I'm being helpful." He puts the key in. Is that you? I made. Uh, give me a key? reflex save. I, I haven't done oh. anything yet. You said you put the key in. <laughs> yeah, is That's that the enough. other way that triggers it? <laughs> no. It's enough. Okay, I'll give you a reflex save. I say, "Hey, Townhauser, do I turn the key?" <laughs> Oh, no. I got a 20 on my reflex save. That will be a fail. You will take 11 points of electricity damage as you put the key in, and there's this immediate shock sound as, like, you can see the um, the keyhole crisp and, like, lines of electricity move over it, and you can tell that as these lines are moving, there is a second hidden keyhole that's under the one that's, like, almost painted to look like it's part of the wood, and then the electricity goes over you, dealing 11 points of electricity damage. I wish I, we had I, inquired I, more with him about how to use this door. I said, okay, Tadhauser, I'm going to put the... And then just immediately just falls back. Just singed. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Orin, stay with me! I'm going to grab him and start shaking him violently. How, I already got you start up. shaking him. How much damage does he take? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I start pounding his his head against the against the floor. Ah, stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the little... <laughs> And then like smoke comes out. Yeah. All right. Is the door open? No. <laughs> I'll take the key out and put it in the un in the painted 
uh, key slot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, like the, the, immediately, you could like un- you you feel the door unlock. But that's infuriating. Come on, Orin, and I'm gonna grab him by the hood and drag him back into this other room. Ugh. Okay. Uh, Vali, slam the door. Uh, all right. I Pull it open is what he means. Yeah. So by closing the door, uh, the tensile rope will like essentially. I wanted to essentially like cause the motion to have the door open from the other room over, just in case there's like a fireball trap that immediately explodes. Like in addition to the rune trap, the door opens. But it never hurts to be cautious. Uh, it opens up into a into a small what appears to be like a, a meeting room. There's paintings on the wall here that seem to depict various outset landscapes, um, like some various like skyscapes of, of different <laughs> pilaster districts. Some of them seem to be torn or, or damaged in some way, which uh. is probably how they found their way here. There is like a couch that has seen some use. Um, there is a like set of, of stairs that go up from the north. They appear to like head head to the to a third floor. Um, however, as you come in here, like there is this overwhelming um, scent of like strong alchemical substances on the air. All right, let me. Can I roll a crafting to identify? Absolutely. Also, can I roll society to assess the value of the paintings? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, hang on a second. Uh, can I do alchemical? Can I do alchemical savant? Identify alchemical items with formula. Do I know um, any of this? Yeah, g- give me the crafting check, and then that will kind of help us determine. No, no, no. I, I mean, because it's a, it's an, it's a bonus. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's it's on a crafting check to identify alchemy. So yeah, you'll get your plus two. Okay, good. So I'm just yeah. rolling. So that's a plus 11. Holy crap, I give a 30. Uh, nice. Yeah, so so with a 30, you're like, you're like, there's this sound of like you sniffing briefly, and then you're you're able to like distill all of these um these ingredients. It appears there's various sulfurous compounds, uh, some solitude based um swamp herbs a lot of this stuff you would know uh would be especially efficient in combustible material um based off like the the burning daggers you saw earlier uh you're you're definitely getting the sense that this is a lot of um a lot of alchemicals based on fire however you also because of you old 30 you also get the like the faint under tinge of almost like ozone like like kind of like that that scent of of um like ozone and crackling lightning and then even like a a slight chill uh on your nostrils as well denoting probably something cold is part of this as well Uh, so there's a lot of different substances the primary of which is fire but like with that 30 you're able to detect the the sort of other substances and as an undercurrent vulgar bloom iron bacteria something fulminated in here uh, it's, it's the usual crap you'd expect from someone making combustibles, but there's something... Something faintly electrical. Probably, well... He he jerks a thumb over it at Orin. Can Orin roll a nature check? To uh, see if he can spot that specific part that Baldrick's missing? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Plus 11, let's go! Uh, 24. Also, I'd like to point out that Doom Dragon 05 says, where's our friendly neighborhood, Rahua? Oh, yeah. uh, speaker, he told you last, didn't he? Where he was going? Uh, Rahua? Rahua didn't say nothing. It was the random old man in the street. Speaker. Speaker. <laughs> the chat member well, asked Hulky? where Hulky was. Yeah, where's Hulky? Oh, yes! Um, Hulky, well, actually, I know the truth about where Hulky is. Um... You see, Hulky is actually, and I'm sorry. Zorin beat him. He did tell me because I'll tell the truth. I'll tell them all. I'll let them all know. You can't get it away. No, you can't. Back. No, beat no, back. you can't. You, the people, deserve the truth. No, the truth. no, stop. He has been kicked from the server. User has been banned from the server. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Well, guys, I rolled a twenty-four on nature. That's that's your answer. 
Yeah, uh, so you're able to uh, to recognize with a 24 that the components are, in fact, various um, alchemical herbs that are found in the solitude, so so much like uh, what, what Baldrick had known. But you're able to identify them as um, particular uh, to the sort of northwestern area um, as a... As an area, uh, as an area called uh, Losh Zinthalast, which is sort of like the, the the solitude around Outset is divided into these sort of large chunks of land space called Loshes, uh, and this particular um, type of plant is created from uh fulgurite areas so where like lightning comes down and essentially like fossilizes in the ground and the plants come up around it. Uh, so you would you would know that it comes from that specific area. So it's like not too far out, but it's definitely outside of the city. Hey, Baldrick. Or Mr. Baldrick. Yeah. The, the bigger pal they mentioned, you know that area that's inside the Loche? You know that Loche part of the place that's yeah. around here? Like, you know that basically the plant that kind of grows within the chemical fusion of the dirt? You know that plant? Oh, yeah. Spiderweed. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's probably the bit that you're missing. So what the hell did all that mean? Can I put together what the hell the, the things that I'm smelling would actually create? Uh, a whole bunch of alchemical bombs. So this seems to be a lab. Smell that. So probably upstairs will be an alchemical lab, just as Elort said, so. Well, if we're going to go to a place with a bunch of explosives going up there, do we need to make a battle plan? Because... I'm kind of wary that if we start a confrontation up there, this whole place is going to go. Well, then maybe we shouldn't do that. Do we assume that the that she's going to be hostile? I mean, Yennebrin well, didn't say she would be. No, because remember, Elort had previously indicated that above the alchemical lab by... I don't remember the name of the fellow, but some kind of scientist, alchemist, is just on the floor above. And then above that would be our gargoyle. Hmm. Well, I can I can turn into a cat and go scout about. If it gets Maybe spotted, should... everyone loves cats. Maybe we should idea. go diplomatically instead of assuming that this is going to be a battle. Well, diplomacy's my middle name. Yeah, and you're grievously wounded. So, do we have any medicine? I can, I can, I can do battle, like, tree medicine to Atari take is like 10 minutes to deal with, but I can do battlefield medicine and help out Volley real quick. Can we do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Volley I can is half dead, and if Volley well, flummoxes something and then is like, all right, I understand what you say, but please, consume this acid. Here, do we all want to spend, like, 30 I minutes in you. game time to, like, for me to heal everybody real quick? I think that's, that's a good idea. I'm a little yeah. leery just because of those skeletons. And I don't know where they were going, and I don't know if that warehouse is connected or not. Okay, because if that I use battlefield medicine, I can't help us if we get in a fight. Hmm. In that case, maybe just a quicker, just patch up a volley. Okay, I'll Can we just give her a potion? Volley. We have potions. Oh yeah, how many potions uh, do we have left? A lot. We got four miners, two lessers, and yeah. Here, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll make it simple. I'll just cast heal. <laughs> that works for me. I'll, I'll just do a two-action heal on Valley. So I'll just go warm. So it is going to be this plus eight. Nice. So if you do hold 15. shift and left click Thurston, it'll uh, do the healing on Valley if you have her selected. Uh, yes, um, I have her selected. I've just got to. Yeah, second. click the token, hold shift, click the heal button, then do plus eight. And then it'll heal. It'll go wob. Wob. There you go. There you Yay. go. You oh, just wow. see, just it's like, it's like I got you. He'll kind of go kunk, kunk, and then like you'll you'll it's like fresh car smell, like which is like the <laughs> pine smell just washes over you. And then oh my uh, yeah, god, yeah, he just, turns Bali into are... a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hands are the like little uh the air freshener thing puts it around her neck. <laughs> It's like, there you go. Hope you feel a little Fuck better. The gif of a guy turning into a car from a Hanna Barbera cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Animorphs, but cars. 
Oh no! We not after the located. last anamorphs. <laughs> Transformers, but <laughs> all fleshy. I pick up Volley and put her on the stairs. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I'll let's move it up. up Quick, march right. up the stairs. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, so y'all head up the stairs. Uh, the wood, the wood stairs take you up to a third level. Let's uh, bring y'all over there. Boop. Okay, um, so in this level, as you come up, you'll see that there is um, a room that is stuffed full of alchemical goods. There's barrels here. There is, um, like, different stones. There's, like, a book that is spread open that is clearly some kind of alchemical textbook. Uh, there are various, like, flowers and stuff. The, the map sort of displays it, but, like, imagine it's it's very, like, densely packed here as well. Um, there is a door to the east, Um that is like reinforced with like m like metal studs and appears to have several singe marks on it. Oh, um, bog standard alchemical office. You'd know better than I would. Any yes. of this stuff uh, jump out at you? Well, as I said, smelled vulgar bloom. Yeah, there that is over there. Uh, iron bacteria probably in that jar. And spider weed is. I look around and I see it in the the mortar and pestle, so carefully placed over there next to the funny chunk of amethyst, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's Nicole's. Orin uh, kind of tugs on Tannhauser's clothing. Mr. Tannhauser. Yes, Orin. Since you're better at finding traps than me, I suspect mm. since we've been kind of loud here, the person might have set up a trap onto the next door if they're hostile. Am I checking that door? Most certainly. I'm going to try and uh, see if we have any more funny traps. Sure, give me a perception check, my man. You got Ooh. it. And a natural one. Not <laughs> one. Oh my god. No, no, speaker, not again. <sighs> not again. <laughs> the curse. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right, it's going on the counter. We got one and one. Yeah. All right. Um, so, like, here. Hey, man, if we were rolling a D100 system, I might be rolling high. <laughs> God, if only. If only. If we're All playing right. my fucking Fallout game, you'd be killing it, man. <laughs> so, you're like, you're like, like, looking at this door, like, trying to find everything. And, like, but just like like your hands moving over the different metal studs. And suddenly you, like, put just enough pressure on it to open the door by accident. Um, and as you open the door, you can see that it goes outside to a wooden bridge upon which um, there's like a little like a little like wooden bridge that goes maybe five feet across. And then there is this tiny baby sized figure with like little patches of mismatched hair staring up at you kind of like a wide mouth uh like looking in in some like sort of wonder at you um and it looks at you and like with like it's sort of like big fleshy hand like waves at you tanhauser Talk, it says and then it walks um to the east moving through what is clearly like a, a silk curtain like that's blocking off which you can tell it looks like the um the support pillar that's beside the building uh but there's like some kind of excavated interior to it and the uh, oops, and this little like creature just walks through it i wave back with my big metallic arm mm -hmm. it's a uh, not trap but someone left their horrible child here. Ugh, gross. Put it back. Oh, good. Mm. Is that a child? Possibly. And I'm going to begin making my way forward. I'm going to begin assaulting. Stop it. right there. Um, nope. All right. So, <laughs> so you, you come in just in time to see a figure that is standing off of a bed, looking down at the child that has entered in, uh, then looks to you. This is a very, very clearly a, a gnome uh, with like wide, like alchemical goggles and alchemical apron holding a vial in one hand. Um, 
And like you see this little like fleshy homunculus on the, the the ground between you, and this like lady has this like wide smile and patches of her like hair are mismatched, and like the little the little flesh flesh homunculi points at you and just grab talk grab talk. That's okay, dear. I got him. I got him. They will be leaving real soon. Um and. Yeah, she seems to be preparing some kind of alchemical to throw at you. God, we were supposed to lead with diplomacy. Fuck. <laughs> um, I'll just here. Well, you oh. know, we we we'll we'll, we'll 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 have you all uh, put yourselves into combat mode, and we'll we'll, we'll see where initiative takes us. We're diplomacy not diplomacy you know, failed. Yeah, well, we're we're we're, we're not quite there. You might, someone someone might be able to try diplomacy before you know anything bad happens. We'll see. We'll see. Right. <laughs> All right. Get true combat. All right. So roll call. Uh, Hang on, I can't. I can't enter combat because the dice are blocking me. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, too Orin many dice. got a twenty on his initiative. Okay. I'm not gonna stealth because, like, I obviously I'm caught flat-footed here. So fuck it. Just to uh, say everyone else's. Tanhauser got a twenty-nine. Uh, Typical fifteen. The foe got an. Uh, the Alchemist Lady got an 18, Baldrick got a 15. Oh, great, I rolled Blood better than 10. the fucking homunculus. Volley got a 9, <laughs> and somehow Rahua, guest star, <laughs> got a 24. 24. <laughs> 24. All right, Tannhauser, uh, you get to start off this uh, this scene. Rahua rolls. All right, so game. she's raising up just this uh, alchemical thing to throw at she's, me. She's got like a vial that's crackling with electricity, and it. it looks like she's about ready to throw it at you. All right, I'm going to try something a little stupid. If oh god, I can't move my character for some reason. Oh, it's because the game paused. Pause. Yeah, there we pause. go. Yeah. Ah. I'm gonna walk up to her. And I'm going to roll Dexterity Thievery to just snatch it out of her hands. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. No. <laughs> Mine. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's, uh, let's so, rock. Yeah. Please don't. I saw that one. one. I got so scared. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Yeah, you grab the lingered on that one too long. And yeah, and oh, yes, that, that and yes, chat, I know normally it automatically fails in combat if they're on guard, but this is hilarious. So yeah, with a 28, you come yeah. up, you just like grab it, yoink. Yeah, I say, no, and I'm just going to throw it on the ground. No! Okay, <laughs> yeah, sure. That's cool. One sec. Um, you know what? It might not be a smart idea, but... <laughs> but it is quite funny. Yeah, it is. Um, okay. Oh my uh, god, what are you doing? You have no idea what that little glub talk thing is. You might kill it in one attack, and then she'll be pissed. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, okay, so it, like, crackles on the ground at your feet, like, re releasing this, like, spread of electrical energy uh, that does two points of damage to you and to everyone adjacent to you. All right. Uh, now stop that. Why'd you just do six damage to Tannhauser? Cause, cause I felt like it. Wait, <laughs> Tannhauser wasn't full, was he? No. No, no, no. That's what I thought. Okay. So yeah, there's like this crackling electricity that sort of like resonates on the ground. Uh, so that was your first action move, second action steal, third action toss, toss down. You may, you may give your speech now. Now you. Stop that, or else the baby gets it. Attack! Okay. Um, oh, let's uh, let's see. Failed right. already. All right, Rahua. Rahua is um. He rolled to eat of the spaghetti. Yeah, Rahua's like sitting in this restaurant with his two new friends. He's still getting and they're, milk. They're just they're just yeah they're they're just have that's Hulky's getting milk. Rahua's Rahua's enjoying a fine meal, um, and there's much laughter and he's he's really enjoying his time with his new friends. Orin, you're up next. <laughs> I didn't want to be next. You it's can like, delay. It's like I can't delay, but the real big question is what to do. 
Because I've been like going a mile a minute. What Orin's going to do? Okay, okay. I can say I can save the round, but technically delay. Orin is going to be just going like, okay, shit's going wrong, and he and he's going to start casting Horizon Thunder Sphere. Oh Jesus so. Christ! <laughs> now remember, remember, because uh, this is like hard for you to visualize. You can't see anything in the other room because of the. The, oh, okay. the only reason you're seeing it is is because you have vision to everybody uh but like okay, your token okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i you're think you're on your token yeah yeah there you go okay never mind i, I apologize i will not cast no, no, that then uh orn will kind of walk in and go like hey is everything okay let's <laughs> see the baby glob talk ten hours or, is everything okay inside i think so <laughs> But, like, we don't want to have a confrontation, okay? Like, we're just trying to figure things out. There's a lot of dead people downstairs. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer hungry. Just want to I'm figure homeless. out what's going on. <laughs> You're homeless. <laughs> and I just like, like, look, we can all just try to, like, calm down. Like, we can leave peacefully if we just, you know, just talk it out. We're just trying to figure out what's going on here. Can I roll diplomacy? He says, oh all my of God, you absolutely down. can, because I know your diplomacy is a minus one. So please. please. <laughs> you, you say all of this in like one second. So it just go. It just comes out like. Ah! <laughs> we ate the bodies downstairs. What? I rolled natural. Oh, my God. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the tweet, the, the tweet, oh, that's two. <laughs> Fuck you, game master! Why not? You, 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 <laughs> the game master. master. That was how you designed your character. <laughs> your character literally has such a shitty Chris. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well. Okay. That's the end of your turn. Um. Please pass the turn. I got you. Yes, yes, I like you. You can say, you can say, not him though. Yeah, yeah, my baby runs to the corner of the of like the the hollowed out interior. So to to, to explain the situation, um, Tannhauser and Oren, you've come inside this support pillar, which has been like carved out, and there's a bed in here, and a little nightstand, and like a bookshelf with like no books in it, just like a few rocks and like one or two little like alchemicals. Um, and this 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 like doctor goes rushing to the to the other side of the room um but like says that she's okay with you or and and produces a um produces another vial and let's see here moves produces a vial and tosses it at you tanhauser okay okay Hoo roll uh, a 28 to hit you. Yeah, that does hit me. Okay, so, um, you will take, I'm just gonna do this here. Oh god, it's a moderate? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. What are you trying to do? Hurt you. Hurt you. Uh, okay, so, oh. actually, it's not gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna roll terribly. Oh no, it's a yeah. moderate. I, oh no, I do five points of damage um so i'll just put the hurt more by the now. glass uh yeah she she is <laughs> however not she is not uh targeting orin or her baby in the splash i'd hope um not. and then after that uh hits you with the frost vial effect so you're now uh your speed is reduced by 10 feet tanhauser okay as like this chill takes over as this glass hits you. Uh, so she moves, uh, draws and throws, and then moves again. And rushes through the curtain to the south. Uh, and you hear like footsteps on like wooden boards again. And then you hear this, ah! Uh, as she uh, turns the corner into obscurity. Baldrick, uh, you're in the room with all the alchemical substances. You start hearing like bombs going off. You, you, again, you're 30 uh, from earlier. I'll say persist enough for you to know that like a, um, an electrical bomb has been discharged and then a frost bomb has been discharged. Uh, you've heard the like shouts and stuff from the other room. What are you doing, my friend? Baldrick has his forearm on Bali's shoulder and he's saying, you believe this shit? You know, <laughs> Knowing how our day overall has been going, this feels about right. 
<sighs> All right. Uh, there's no way else through, so I'll just. Uh, fuck. What's my move again? It's human, so that's number twenty feet for base mm -hmm. move. So I'll move five, ten, fifteen, twenty through the door or through the yep through the door and the thing. Okay, you find yourself in the room beside Frozen Tanhauser and the small little baby homunculi staring up at you. I don't have time for the baby, but I will look at Tanhauser. Uh, you okay, Tanhauser? Diplomacy has failed. Now we must rely on the age-old maxim of unbelievable violence. Bobcock! I'm going to move down one. I'm gonna I'm gonna move another time. Okay, second second move. One, so that's one, that's five, ten. Is diagonal ten or is it fifteen? Uh, diagonal twice is, is an extra, that's all. But first diagonal's free. Okay, so fifteen, ten, fifteen. Oh, hello. Okay, so a few things uh, happen as you pass through the... Oh, fuck me. The sheet. Um, yeah, so you're on a, a bridge, about a 15-foot wide walkway that connects to what must be a, another, like, third-story level of the of the bar that was, wasn't was accessible from where you were. <laughs> oh, However, um, there is a section of the warehouse that is across the way um, that I guess has had, like, wood planks built on it. Uh, and you remember seeing this a bit from your original approach here. Um, and you can see that two of the skeletons of the Tyrant's Guild have walked out on there and have readied longbows. Care to pan us over, Zorin? Uh, uh, oh, sorry. There we go. Dun, dun, oh, cameraman. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I thought I had bows. him in frame. I'm, I'm getting war flashbacks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Those fuckers. Yeah, no. Uh, but yeah, so you come out with your second move action. You see this, Baldrick. You still... And, like, you you realize, Baldrick, as you come out, that the gnome, like, in front of you has stopped and is, like, the freak out was because she has turned and seen these, like, archers getting ready. Ah! Uh, shit. Thinking, 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 thinking. Thurston, how many actions would it be to pick up the gnome? Um, like to drag the gnome back with you or something? Yeah, that's the plan. There's an action um, you do called grapple, yeah. which is uh, athletics versus grapple. fortitude. It so would be you athletics. Can't, you can just, um, yeah, you get to beat her fortitude safe. Yeah, I would. I would probably say that this is like a weird variant of shove rather than grappling just because you're like trying to like shove backwards rather than like engage in like a headlock but yeah it'd basically be an athletics check i'd let you do it for one action okay i'll target her and do athletics All right interesting do i get any bonuses because she is maybe a little flat-footed or uh yeah yeah i'll give i'll give you a um i'll give you a one i'll give you a plus one bonus circumstance bonus and this will be the last time you can get your egg bonus for this combat but i'll give you the egg bonus here too. oh okay good i thought it'd been like more than 10 two. minutes but hey that's up to you i'll i'll allow you to get this last use of the egg bonus i will add the i will add two bonuses i will add the gnome bonus as a circumstance and an egg bonus as a as an item bonus beautiful <laughs> this is important this will offset my armor check penalty, too. Good. Be useful. That's a net. Oh, oh my! 20. We got three. So, so on, the, on, on a regular success, you would move, like, this way. But on a crit success, you actually move back into the room with her. Check it back! And then he, like, somersaults backwards through the door with the gnome, like, in a headlock. Yeah, and, like, you, you, your foot, like, ends right near this little homunculi. Um, who gets to go next? Can you uh, pass the turn, please? Uh, if I got a... Yeah. Beast. Beast. All right, so, um... <laughs> I didn't need the egg bonus. Beast. And now it is bonus. gone. The power of the egg bonus brought that 20. The last okay. hurrah of bonus egg. So uh, the first action is the little fleshy homunculus runs under your legs, climbs up the gnome alchemist's shoulder, um, then proceeds to use a knife, uh, glub talk help, and uh, throws an acid bomb at you, Baldrick. All right, good. 
Grab chuck, grab chuck, grab chuck, grab chuck, help! And then, um, yeah, tosses in acid flask, which he pulls off of, like, the, the gnome's shoulder, and the gnome's like, no, don't do bad glub chuck, bad! And then, like, the glub talk's already grabbed the vial and tosses it at you. Okay. Is it a moderate? No. It's a lot <laughs> And it measures. Oh, God, he sucks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. No, why are you it's saying changed. no? That's good. <laughs> yeah, no, he didn't He's say that. Like, like, after he throws it and it like lands on the bed and begins like acidically chewing side of the bed, he like turns and looks at like the, the doctor. Glub talk, help! And they're like, yeah, glub talk, help! Uh, and that's glub talks go. Um, Vali, you're going to be up next. How did Vali go behind me? Uh, oh, because I, I rolled nine. like a two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Huh. Well, it sounds like things are going great in there. Get uh, your ass in here! Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. talk. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, stroll on in here. I forget how much my movement is. Uh, 35. Yeah, you are like... You are quick. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> it falls off the ledge. Uh, yeah, I can get, like, here. Hi. Um, talk. Hi, little guy. Oh my god. Um, Baby uh, Thoracic. Baby Thoracic. Right. Um, okay. Hold on, hold on. All right, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. We're not say everybody cool actually <laughs> We're not actually here to fight you, ma'am. Uh and so if we could all just put our weapons down, Tanhauser, you might need a blanket. Um why don't we all just talk first, okay? Give me a diplomacy <laughs> check. Roll a natural one. Make I, I, this I, everything I, I want have, it to be. I still <laughs> have the gnome in a headlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh, I'm like on my back with the gnome on my chest in a headlock. Diplomacy. <laughs> diplomacy. Diplomacy. Oh, oh, that was so oh, fun. Oh, you you, you have a point. I do have a hero point. You do have a hero point. Uh, hero point. It could get worse, but it's not over a 15, so I think it's, uh, you know? Fuck you know? It. I mean, I'm gonna spend it's a It's very point. evident that with a 14, she's still thrashing and is like, yeah. I need yeah. to get out of here! Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hero point. Oh! And it's a one. Natural one. I'm gonna... We're at, we're at three <laughs> and two. And... <laughs> <laughs> and with that natural one and the consequences of that natural one, we'll find out when we come back from our break. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. We're going to go stretch your legs. Go get some snacks. Go get some snacks, chat. We'll be all right. We'll get we'll yeah, be um, right back. What if Travis? <laughs> we'll be right back. I knew you were going to roll that. As our adventurers take a break. We'd like to take a moment and thank our sponsor, you. You sharing the videos, advertising the streams, and supporting us on Patreon makes everything we do here happen. You help us create the show, create a custom tabletop RPG setting for your campaigns, create monsters, items, spells, and more, all for you. If you love what you've seen so far, or if you want to use the monsters and assets used in the show, please visit our website at www.narrativedeclaration.com for our Patreon and more. Ugh. And we're back. Guys, I can finally tell you all, I know where Hulky is. You see, no. I no. found it via no. the ancient files. No. If you look at the stars, they'll blow no. your way. No. I've given you the keys. No. You no. must open shut the door. Up. Tell them. Yes. Hi, guys. Welcome back. This bag is shredded. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put I put some arm in this. <laughs> Why are you punching your nuts? Why it's, are you it's... punching your nut sack, Zoran? Don't do that. What? It's, it's, what? I've been hitting it. I've been hitting it so hard. I smell it oh, burning. No. <laughs> what? You smell it no. burning? No. Yes. No. Hello. Um, no. You should see a doctor. It's like there's singes, there's there's a bed of fire, a lot of red. You no, know, it's just because oh, no. you're in hell. Oh. Oh, that's fair. Twitch report. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. 
Welcome back. I guess we can carry on with the combat. Oh boy, Tan House. Yeah, we can carry on with this <laughs> combat. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Oh wait, hold on. Have I done again. my third action? Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Sure, right. have a third action, Molly. What is what is the gnome's way. response to the crit fail first? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The crit fail is like the doctor stares at you, her eyes wide. <laughs> yeah, sky pirates murdered everyone I love. Never again. No, no, no. Backing up. Uh, no, I've I've still got her grappled. It's fine. Fighting to back up. Yeah, but, but what actually happened is Volley made a very impassioned speech, but she accidentally spit, and the gnome had her mouth wide open. No! Immediate, uh, immediate World of Warcraft taunt. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. Um, I'm, I'm gonna do a backflip, I guess, and get some panache. <laughs> Diplomacy has, uh... Fail. Oh my god, okay, sure. Like, I, I like to I like, I like that scene where it's like, ah it's sky pirates, no, they'll kill us all. And he goes, huh? Backflip. <laughs> the okay, mechanics demand you backflip for no reason. Right now! <laughs> Athletics! I know that you have some trauma, but watch this. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked. Roll the fucking athletics check. Volley just starts doing uh, ultra no. dragon three feet. It's, it's like the worst backflip too. Like it's, it's like Man, she doesn't even backflip. She just like jumps off the ground. Yeah, like hops high. She jumps off the ground and like wiggles her hands at her like hips like <laughs> jazz hands. You don't get panache with the thirteen. I uh, no, I don't think I earned that one. No nope. turn. <laughs> uh, frozen Tannhauser, you're up. Um. So this like this alchemical substance is like seeped over your body. It's like this this like biting chill. It's clearly like hit you in the legs somewhat where you feel your 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 mechanical parts seizing up under it. Uh what would you like to do? So diplomacy seems like it has failed. Oh. We could save it. We could save it. For the love of God, don't kill her. Uh, I'll move up to her and I'll hold my turn, but if she starts running, I start stabbing. You want to delay your turn after mine? Yeah. Okay. Hi. I may have a terrible idea. Yeah. Uh, Rahua is ordering the main course at this point. Um, he's learning the backstory of our other two NPCs who are down on the first level. We're hearing the tragic backstory of the bartender uh, who really just, you know wanted to live now the bartender has joined the the other two as well so now it's just it's it's a big group who is having a great old time Oren. okay Oren's gonna come up over to the other side hey. and he'll kind of like lean down and say look 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 i know it looks all scary and stuff like that look like she's a good <laughs> she's a good sky pirate They're like look like like but what like currently right now Everyone dares downstairs is gone. We got, we got, we got people outside who look dead with armor and they're trying to like shoot us all and stuff. But what if I could interest you in a revolution? What if you could come work for someone better where you could take care of your, he looks at the child, baby b uh, child. Cock. Yeah, Grabcock. Yeah, I don't know. That's his day. You can take care of him better. We don't want to hurt you. See, like we only want to come in. We were coming in and not really expecting anybody or anything. It's just what if we can interest you a business proposition? How's hey, your that six sound? seconds are up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we'll try the policy. Oh my fucking <laughs> my minus god! One. <laughs> Do it, Zorin. Do it. 19! That was, but it's I an 18. saw the one. <laughs> How does he keep 18. doing it? <laughs> Setting the I scene. So we have any, does anyone else want to help me? <laughs> okay, something? okay, okay. So what happens here is like, oh, as yeah. you're saying, this like club talk pulls on the sleeves of the doctor and the doctor looks and club talk like takes its other little malformed arm and reaches out towards your finger, Oren, to like touch it like a cat's paw. Like, 
just just touches you. Blab talk. Not yeah, buddy. You. Yeah, Blab we don't talk. want to fight. We're just we just we just want to like just talk it out real quick. We don't want any violence. We're I'll done know. with violence for the day. I'll lean in and try to give an ex- a- assist. I mean, what? You and Glub talk. You're not petite bourgeois, are you? Oh and God! I'll... Please crit fail this. This is what do you what do you, what do you want? Do you want society or diplomacy? Oh, for fuck's sakes! Have your society. You... Society. Oh fuck! I saw ah, it for a second. It was real. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, it was all a dream. Glob talk. Glob talk. All right, Oren, is that so, so that was Tannhauser's assisting you? It seems like they've they've really come down. Oren, are you? Uh, is that the the, the you've you've now diplomacied? Um, that's the end of your action. She like, like definitely can, like seems like things have calmed down. It's like um, for my final action, I would like to if it could help out with the diplomacy bit a little bit. That uh, Oren will go see. Look, I'll, I'll try to make it better. I understand he got hit, hurt a little bit after that little explosion. Yeah, I'll help out, and don't. I want to. <laughs> don't make it worse. He, um, he's going to cast heal on the little grub grub dude. <laughs> don't be Magneto. Okay. Just a one action heal, just a little. Yeah. Here you go. Here you go, man. Uh, you I'll help like out with that boo She took a little damage. No, he yeah, can't. It's uh, three uh, actions to the AoE. Thank God he doesn't have to roll to hit. Yeah, so just. Uh, yeah, you four. you heal up Glub Talk, and there's like this like Glub Talk as he like gets that feeling of like like going into a hot tub for the first time, and like kind of pulls his little arms in under his chin. It's just like Glub Talk bouncing from side to side. Yeah. Is that the end of your turn? End of my turn. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Whoops. Uh, whoops. That, that was not hitting Baldrick, but uh, that'll that will hit the doctor in the back if I don't roll a one through five. Okay. So an arrow pierces the doctor in the back, coming from behind the curtain. Wait. How is this happening? Hold on a second. Help help me understand the scene here, because I thought mm-hmm. she was on the ground grappled with me. Uh, like you dragged her in and then an arrow got shot to that the basically that location. Like the the basically this is a trailing arrow that has flown through and struck her. Great. Yeah. Uh not doing a lot of damage though, so yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> the worst spy backstab. Yeah, it's like this arrow like grazes her and you're this ah and club talk turns and club talk. Um and then though you can't see this, uh I don't want to roll bad on this. Okay, that's good. Cool. Cool. Uh some stuff happens on the other side. Uh all right, so the doctor is like, ah, oh, it hurt, hurt much. Owl. Hi, hi, hi. Club talk's okay. Hi, pa- uses her hand to pat Club talk. Like on her back, like wrestling with Baldrick. The doctor's like, um, I'm Doctor Krim. It's a pleasure to meet ya. Yeah, pleasure like what? You, you might get pleasure's somewhere. all ours. Move somewhere you won't get shot. There's skeletons over there. Come on, Club talk. Let's go to bed. Scampers over to the bed. Club talk. Beast. Uh, Baldrick. Do I have anything ready? I need to look and see what's in my inventory. It's been a little bit. Uh. Crap. You know what I'm going to do? Because I saw the skeletons come through. I'm going to move up to. Through the, the thing. Okay. If it'll let me. There we go. Yep. Terrific. One of them has jumped across and is now under just underneath the bridge by about like basically the bridge is slightly above the this the ceiling here. Um and like you could tell it's like attempting to um like lift itself up but hasn't quite got to doing so yet. Uh so here's my question. Mm-hmm. I mean, let me look and see what I can actually conjure up because I have 
I mean, just count real quick. So I did the three, I did the two moderates. I made a belladonna. I made an acid flask. So that's four. I have three left. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Crap. Need to see what I can make. That'll be worthwhile. Arsenic. Yes. Um, no. Uh, so here's my question. If I throw an acid grenade at him, will that damage the structure support here, or would it be better if I throw a, a alchemist fire? Because I'd really rather not set the building ablaze from a top. You can tell that any of those bombs should, should like, an alchemist fire won't be enough to catch the building on fire at this, at this current stage. I'm going to do acid. I'm going to use my acid moderate, fl or moderate acid flask. Absolutely. So that's one action to quick draw and throw. Be sure to target him. And that to target, please. Thank you. A bum. La bomba. A bum. Okay, so that is drawn and. Make him melt. Uh. Melt him. Go. Melt. Melt. Good. And strike plus eight. Yep. Go! Uh, hmm? item bonus. What is this item bonus I'm getting? Uh, because it's a, if it's a moderate, you get an item bonus built in. Oh, okay, good. It, it, me. Die! No. no! <laughs> so however, however, I have a hero point. I'm going to use it because it's like, what am I going to do? Roll another one? Why? Don't Why? Say that. Oh, Why? Don't say that out loud. It's doomed. Okay. That's a six, 14. Uh, yes. It misses, but it will do the splash damage, so... What a waste. Ah, uh, you just... That's been some, some bad rolls, my friend. Um, okay, what do you got here? Um, all right. And, okay, your and I have one move left, so I'm going to duck back in. Mm -hmm. uh, don't go out there. What do you mean? Huh? We need to ambush them. Oh. Ambush them? There's one across the way shooting and one just climbed its way back up. Oh, is it precariously by an edge? Yes. I can take care of him. Would you like to fall off the edge? Oh, I, I won't die. I have wings. You can't fly. No, but I can glide. <laughs> All right, sure. Fucking teenagers, whatever. They <laughs> <laughs> just scare the living shit out of me. What a great song. <laughs> I'm Warren. Welcome to Jackass. <laughs> Collapses and dies. G mod collision <laughs> sounds. Just skeletons. Help. Glub talk goes up to you, Baldrick, and tries to climb up your shoulder. What the hell do you want? Glub talk help. I don't have any bombs ready, so he can't really help. Glub talk help. Are you going to, like, let him climb up your shoulder? Sure. What am I gonna do? Beat him up? Glad talk help, and he's just like by your by your helmet. You just hear the ringing. Glad talk help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, great. Glad talk help. Good. He'll spend three actions worth of saying that to you. Uh, volley. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of glove talk. Glad talk help. Thanks, glove talk for all your help. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Well, I might be able to jump across and get to the other one. If you do this, I will cover you. Oh, I'm going to do that then. Uh, I'm going to rush out here. Five, ten, fifteen. Uh, so as you come out, a uh, ready to action goes off and the skeleton shoots oh. you. Because, you know. I uh, warned you! Boop. Boop. Uh, 25 will hit you? Yeah. 25 does hit me, unfortunately. Yeah, you ain't got no panache. Because you didn't do a back. Ooh, look at that little arrow go fly. You wow. Seven points of damage volley as an arrow hits you in the side as you rush out. Ah, Jesus. Oh, fuck her. I hate skeletons. This is just it, like... Dark it does not res respond. <laughs> Give me an acrobatics um, check. Yeah. Oh, acrobatics. Oh, no. Is he about to knock me off? Yeah. 
<laughs> you, okay, were, but... you were warned. That was uh, you don't 17. fall off. You don't okay. fall off. <laughs> um, well, the arrow guy is clearly a problem. Uh, and you said that the rooftop is not far from the bridge. Like, could I step off the bridge onto it? Yeah, it's like it's like basically like a three foot like drop down to the to the slanted roof there. Oh, OK. So how much? I want to get that okay, scaling so man. 20 so feet bad. so far. Um, I think I can just jump across. Now, would this be a second move? Um, I, um, OK, so I I'll, I'll tell would be a second move. OK, I'll tell you what you need for for um, like long jump. It's athletics. OK, and it's um, basically the distance you need to jump. So in this case, 10 feet to get you to get you to like here would be a 10 foot jump because you're starting with a move. Um, so as long as you don't get under a 10. You're fine. OK, uh, is it athletics or acrobatics? Athletics, because it is. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, I was thinking it was going to be acrobatics. Uh-oh. No, that's more like tumbling or like keeping your balance. Uh-oh. Um, well, it is only 10 feet. Falls through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Arrives at the family a... dinner. <laughs> yeah. I mean, here, here, oh, let's, let's, let's math this out. I mean, your athletics, you'd. Like, you know, you have a plus have a one plus to one. athletics. You know, you have a 50, better than 50% chance to jump over. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how much I like those odds. And we've got people with actually decent range and wings. Um, I d- so d- should we? Yeah, because yeah. that's, that's not a door there. So it's not like we can barricade them out. So we should probably just kill them. You do have a hero point And that skelly man right there, like once it gets to my turn, I'm going to, I have a way to push him off. Oh, yes, yes, because you have wings. And you uh, do have a hero point now. Oh, I do have a hero Oh, thanks, Chad. It's, it's worth noting that I could, on my turn, just teleport over there and attack him. Yeah. That Tele- is true, but teleport then you'll be flank- you'll, you'll have somebody to flank him with. That's true. I'm easy. Um, and it's cool. Yeah, yeah Bali, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah I'll give it a shot. Bali's like that. Um, yeah, do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leap across. Are we gonna be uh, three for three? Here we go. Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> Baby. Ooh. That's a nine. Almost, almost. That's, that's, that's one shy of the prize that you would need. I'm gonna spend a hero point because I don't want to break my neck. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Please, please, please. But no, please, Bali, Bali no one can like see this. this. No one can see this, and Molly will be like, they ambushed me. They they threw me off the edge. <laughs> he kicked me. Sparta. I just wanted to exhaust his dialogue, and he kicked me. In Sparta. <laughs> Okay. Oh snap! Okay. Yeah, jump. there you I go. Jump. Seventeen. There you go. You can jump. Hello. Woo, 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 woo. Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It does not hoot hoot back at you because it is not that NPC. Uh, do do I get panache from that? Yes, I will give Fuck you yeah. panache from that. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to stab him. Okay. With my sword. Okay, stab him with your sword. A very powerful attack on a skeleton. Yes. <laughs> I'll shoot him if I gotta, but I'm gonna start with the sword, because I can finish her it. True, you can finish her it. <laughs> three for three! <laughs> Why um, are you all so fucking cursed? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that was a great jump you did, Volley. If you want to end your turn and we can... Uh... All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> the dog in your clothes. However, like a file uh, pose. <laughs> um, oh, wait. I, oh, shit. You know what? No, 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 no. Because you, you did a finisher, right? Uh, you do the finisher when you roll damage, right? Uh, one sec, one sec, because you did a finisher. <laughs> you roll uh, a finisher, it finishers you. Confident <laughs> finisher. Uh, failure. Oh, it's, it's, this is a critical failure, though, so never mind. On a failure, you'd still do your precise strike to it, but since so it's now a critical failure, you don't even get that. <laughs> what is the critical <laughs> failure in tail first? Yeah, Volley Very lands, good. like, trips, stumbles, like, has to catch herself on the skeleton, is like, ah! 
Thanks, buddy. Like, pats his chest, gets up. Thank you, you're so hunky, I love you. Stabs her. <laughs> and how's no. very here up? Sure am. All right, cool, let's do this. Now remember, One, you move ten feet. Two, three, there you go. I move fifteen. Uh, but you're also... Oh, what's your base move, twenty-five? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Oh, and also, sorry, that, that actually is gone now, never mind. Oh, that great. was only until the end of your last turn, so I will take cool. that off of you. So I'll go a little yeah. further. I'll get to here. Yep. Oh, I, I, need to, I need to cut in. I'm sorry, speaker. Yes. Uh, someone just asked what happened to Rahua. Uh, Hulky could not be with us today. He is busy uh, trying to ice skate across the Pacific. He'll be back uh, next time. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's on yeah. a trip. Listen, yep. chat. Hulky's on a farm. There's lots of room to run around. He'll be there with other New Yorkers. You know, he's on a yeah, yeah, farm yeah. with a with a one guy from like some place and a very large man with mental deficiencies. It'll be fine. Yeah, come on. Also heard that Hulky's a race car driver. He's yeah. a race car. I've heard he yeah. is the race car. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, no, he's actually not a race car race driver. Car. He just he just runs. You know, like, they put him on the racetrack and he just runs with them. Compelling bit, everyone, but I'll be activating spell strike. Excellent. We hear a point. Why not? <laughs> uh, oh my god, please roll above a five. I believe in you. There's something in this oh, building. Hallelujah. He hit him. Oh, yeah. boy. This building is cursed to Tannhauser so badly. All I'm right. not talking about our apartment building. Oh, that's <laughs> fair. Speaker that's and I fair. can't roll. Okay. Uh, just don't fall off your real apartment. I, oh my god, 14 damage. Holy okay. crap. Okay, yeah. so so some of this is reduced. Um, so your rapier does no damage because it's got uh, resistance to piercing. Um, but the rest of it will go through, so you'll do 12 points to him. Wait, which one did you target, Speaker? I targeted the one nearby. Yeah. Oh, why not the one across the way? Because I would have to spend more actions to get there, and I couldn't use a spell strike, so I couldn't oh, kill this I guy. Oh, I got it, yeah. yeah. Good call. I, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> excellent. That'll kill that one as you break it into a pile of bones. And that's the turn. Yeah, sweet. I'm so upset. Okay, so Rahua is now looking at desserts. Uh, there's a lot on the menu. Uh, very good. Um, he's very excited about the dessert. How'd they move to desserts in like three combat rounds? Three combat rounds is like 15 seconds. Rahua is literally an orb of pure entropy that just the food goes into. So Rahua is on dessert. It's all that fast. They... No, 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 no. Stop there, mister. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you. The eating just, food and cooking it takes longer than 10 seconds. You're just mad that Rahua can fit more glizzies in his orb than you can fit in your mouth. Listen, you True. piece of shit. I don't need you to tell me anything about no goddamn glizzy. I ate it. I, you cannot have the swamp glizzy. It is, it is full of fiber and puff. Orin, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll ask for who when he's done from his lunch break. Uh, yeah. What his fucking biology is. Well, 1d100 glizzies, Rahua. <laughs> Hulky, roll this now. No. All right. So my master plan was actually to go to that skeleton and gel blast him off the fucking air. <laughs> but he said no. So All right, gel blast there. volley off then. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Not to move a thing broke. There we go. There we go. All right. So five ten. Orin will see. Is that like an empty space to the right over here, Thurston? Um, where is that also a ledge? I'm I'm clicking here? over there, right side, right side, right side of the uh, skeleton. Oh yeah, yeah, that that's yeah, like basically off the wood that falls down like two floors. Oh cool, all right. Yeah, uh, fall down. I want to spin. Oh god, it's going to take me. Two. All right, it's not going to work out. All right, all right, comes up and goes like, man, <laughs> he's just really just upset like that. Ah! He claps and it's in a bolt of lightning goes around that skeleton from across. Okay. Send send your lightning my way. He needs to make a 19 reflex save as I cast sudden bolt. Just All right, here we go. A natural no. one! Oh no. Yay! Oh no. <laughs> Still oh, no. And I roll 40 to have electricity damage. Don't give up, skeleton. That's a good roll! 38! 
Good lord! He takes <laughs> uh, the 16 points of damage that kills him, but technically takes 78, uh, sorry, 73. He has five points of electricity resistance. Um, oh, God! And then is quite, quite dead. Like, Krakatoa, the skeleton explodes around you, Volley. Oh, dude, oh, I fucking God. love that song from Kansas. Dustin well, Moran. Good job, Oren. Oren's just like, son of a... <laughs> it's just as lightning comes down. It's like, man! <laughs> and he kind of, like, stumps off. That was pretty cool, Oren. But Thank I think you. the most important thing is that Volley flipped. She did? Yo, girl! Fuck Bye. Yeah. Do yeah. a backflip! You can yeah. stay salvage this! Yeah. <laughs> if you roll you? a one, you will go careening off the ledge. Please be <laughs> the key. Keep I this in one, mind. Molly just dies. <laughs> her skin, <laughs> her, her skin her vanishes and all her blood falls out. <laughs> oh, yeah. She becomes a skeleton. Roll initiative. <laughs> you become yeah. a new skeleton warrior. <laughs> skeletonized remains of Volley. <laughs> <laughs> Book of the Dead is out. Skeleton is an ancestry now. So oh, true. We got what? this. We got this. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. I I'm playing the wrong yeah. ancestry. Skeleton. You can play a I skeleton. You know. One of the one of their Dude. abilities is a reaction that allows you to collapse into a pile of bones. Which I, I guess we know what happens when Tanhauser dies. I want to be, a, ske <laughs> want to be mm -hmm. a skeleton so fucking bad. <laughs> You're all gonna fight. It's gonna be the fucking skeleton warriors party. You have no idea. I've been yes. tempted just to throw or Orin into a fucking no. spike pit just to be a skeleton. Hey, hey, chat. Roll, give us a whole bunch of money so we can do a one shot. We're all playing as skeleton. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, right. what are we doing? Are we still in initiative? Are we done? Uh, no, we're still we're still on. In, no, we're we're done. We're done. You oh, murdered okay. the things. You all all end encounter there. Look, we did it! Yay! Huh. Well, now I'm over here. Well, stop it! Wait, well, actually, gonna... stay there. What? what? I'm gonna throw over uh, a grappling hook. Put that towards the edge. Oh, get on something. Okay. Okay. I... Like hook it into the wood. All right, cool. Now we have a means to get across from point A to point B if we need to. Is yeah. that a goat? What's what's it? Hold on. So walk. So so Molly, as you're like saying this, <laughs> like the wood wall that has this bridge to nowhere to the south, like this connecting bridge that you've kind of seen in your peripheral, but you've been fighting like skeleton warriors. A large like gargoyle-esque creature emerges from this hidden door uh clutching a book and like looks out meekly and starts like walking across the bridge hey hey wait Pauses. wait gargoyle we're we are here for you no 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 <laughs> like that. Hey, literal hey gargoyle what that's <laughs> what, what did you did you just she walks back into clear line of sight <laughs> like raising an accusatory finger did did you just did, did you just say hey gargoyle to me uh, that, no, that is the no, rudest thing they Wait, never treat on. kids I... any manners nowadays should i just I... be like hey self Oh, that, that has happened before, but uh, uh, sorry, sorry you know, about no, that. No, I don't have to deal with this. She goes, closes no. the door. Oh, oh. Diplomacy. <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Oh, wait, no. That, I want to spend a narrative declaration. <laughs> yes. Before she goes inside to close the door, I wanted Tannhauser to have an opportunity to give him one. I think he wanted to do a a hee-hee. Oh no, that's okay. okay like okay. she closes the door, but Tanhauser, you've opened the door, so you just see oh, I, go back into yeah. like as you open the door to the the southern bridge where where you were all fighting on and Volley jumped across. You can see that there's like a little office in here where there's um like clearly some bookshelves stacked with tomes. There's a desk with like a a tome on it that's being written in. Like the gargoyles like close the door, and she stepped back in and like turns to see the door opening. Oh. Oh, are you friends to that one? That one was so rude. I am so sorry for what you've just had to endure. Allow me to assure you that freedom is merely privilege extended unless enjoyed by one and all. There is no reason to ever say the G slur. Wow. Well, 
I like you. Hopefully your friend gets some therapy. That was very rude. And she like no. goes to sit in the chair. I was I writing and then I heard all this commotion and I went to go outside. And that, then it's like, hey, Gargoyle, people wonder why I don't go outside anymore. It's because of stuff like that. You know, we are all working on becoming a better version of ourselves. I hope you can forgive my comrade's ignorance in this matter. Uh, okay. You right, seem nice. I'm very nice. Hello. Yeah. Oh, you're Hi. a lovely little man. Hello, welcome. Hey, uh, nice everyone's to see just another... inviting themselves in here. I mean, I'm at the edge of the door. I was going to politely ask if I could come in with a little and stuff, but if you, uh, you know, come on in, come on oh, in. Thanks. I was just That's riding. To That's to see another uh, winged fellow. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's I uh, and uh, <laughs> Arnold Cop. <Kopp. laughs> yeah. But it's like Volley well. just like crying on her own by the yeah, way. Crying. She's just standing there. She, like, she turned Aww. into she turned into that image of Shinji crying when Asuka says he's cringe. Volley <laughs> <laughs> <That's true. laughs> is standing there zoning off into space. I'm gonna walk across the grappling hook. Come in. Well, Give me an acrobatics check. Oh god. This is how Volley dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, maybe she shouldn't have said those bad words to me. Roll the one volley. <laughs> I'm going to end it. Kurt up. doing the die. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, well, that's, that's, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. I have a good acrobatics, please. Uh, meanwhile, in the other room, glub talk, glub talk. All right, Oren, you were saying. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no, uh, at this point, you, at this point, I... Unfortunately, I'm in an awkward position where there's two conversations happening at once. And Oren can't really contribute to a bunch of them. So since he did help out with the other one, Oren's going to head over to where Bodrick is and be like, Hey, Bodrick, we took care of it. That's fine. Ab talk. I'm going to pick up Glub, Glub Tog by the scruff of his neck and put him on the gnome's shoulder. It's like incredibly squishy. It feels like like a weird Play-Doh. Um, <laughs> like you're tickling its back. Uh, here, take this, please. And I put it on her <laughs> shoulder. Talk likes you. Likes you a lot. Yeah. Say, um, while they're handling whatever's happening down there, care to explain why you hurled a vial of frost at friend down there? Well, if someone walked into your bedroom ar fully armed... Would you throw a bomb at them? Did he have his sword out? Yes. That is a lie! No, it's not. You didn't spend an action to draw your weapon, so, you know. Wait, but then he wouldn't have his sword out. <laughs> what, literally what you dun, said. Dun, dun. I've never spent an action to draw. Are you implying that every... None of us have ever Speaker, spent an action. He's gaslighting us. He's gaslighting us. I'm gonna us. get you! I'm gonna find you! I just assume you all walk with your weapons drawn everywhere. No! <laughs> I always Sorry. have my staff out, but Dude, still. I always, I always waste an action drawing my fucking weapons. What are you yeah, talking you about? Yeah, you do. You do. Come uh. on, guys. All right, look, guys, he's just tricking us. Spending action is only spent on common sense actions, like opening doors. That's right. <laughs> I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> I close the door and ruin your action economy. Thanks, no! yeah. <laughs> All right, so you hurled a bomb at our friend who was probably in doing... my bedroom, standing menacingly. Yes, that's yes, you'll have to excuse don't me. like. That's fine. He doesn't have to like him. Stop talk. <sighs> Look. We seem to have gotten off at the wrong foot, and I always enjoy the presence of another alchemist. What's your deal? What do you mean, my deal? I, I'm an alchemist. I like, I like, I like making things that, that, that burn or freeze or electrify. I like electrifying. Electrifying is great. Damn, I, fuck. I have to ask Thurston because it's yes. rather hard to tell on the art. Is she like bald up the middle of her head or is that yeah, just like hair? Like, like there's patches of her hair that are like missing. Like. She, her hair is just this patchy mess. Um, like, it, very clearly, just like nothing but alchemical explosions and just bad things have happened to her. 
So here's here's the here's what Baldrick understands of being an alchemist is that typically the best alchemists tend to not be covered in burns. Make of it so, what you will. So uh yeah, just just some just some mild observation about this fucking clown. All right, look. We have yes. gotten on the wrong foot, so how about we just get some understanding? Are you covering for, uh... Oh god, what the hell was the guy's name? Etal or something? Damn it. Elort? Elort, thank you. I got the I got the letters mixed up. You're good. You working for Mr. Elort? He wants me to burn things, so I make stuff to burn things. Okay, maybe put a kibosh on that for now. Uh, bombs. Yeah, try... Okay. I don't need to. I don't know how to tell you this. Burning crap that doesn't deserve to be burned—that's pretty bad. Don't do that. Bombs, burn. Burning oil. Made burning oil. They all like it so much. He bought bought so much of it. I'm gonna roll a deception. Okay. Try something. Okay. Bombs are bad. Baldrick's disease. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Shush. Nobody likes you. Ouch. I'll leave. Fifteen. What's your deception? Uh, no. They said they don't want you to do that anymore. That's it. Doesn't seem right. No. No, no, no. That, does, that doesn't seem right at all. Uh, they, they, they just asked for more shipments. I made so much blaze oil. You hear about blaze oil? It's 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 the newest best thing. I made so I'm much aware. of it. A lot of blaze oil. You could you could put it on your weapons. You could put it on your stick there, Birdman. Just go and then it goes. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Okay. God talk. Yes. Yep. Where is it being stored? Um, in the warehouse over there. Points like to to the wall to the east. Okay. And so, do you know that those skeletons were over in that warehouse? Alright, skeleton. <laughs> I was wondering when they'd finally come for me. I wasn't gonna let them take me alive, but then, then you did. You, you, you dealt with them, so now they're, they're, you're, you're their problem, right? <laughs> you do realize if you die, then there's nothing to look, take care of that little thing, right? Glub talk? Big, like, puppy eyes. No, 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 I'll always be here to look after glub talk. Pat's glub talk. You just said you'd be willing to die for that. Yeah, it's okay now, because Glub Talk likes you. You can have Glub Talk too. And she like Glub Talk like comes comes over to your leg. No. Glub Talk. He raises up his boot and pulls the Glub Talk off of his. Ah, Glub Talk hops on the bed. Look, don't you want a homunculi? I can teach you how to make one. You can have a little flesh boy of your own too. No, I'm good. Why not? Because I don't need an assistant. You go mad if you don't have anyone to talk to. You seem to have spent a lot of time going mad. Glub talk. That's right, glub talk. Oren? Yeah? Help me out here. Like, what, what do we want out of this? I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to that figure out. That was Zorin. Out. That was Zorin. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out. What the fuck do we want out of this lady? <laughs> I'm trying to talk this. He he puts a, he puts a hand up as though covering his lips, you know, like side fanning it, like trying to talk this weirdo into working with us without being so much weirdo. Oh. Job talk. Look, um. Now that most of your contents have pretty much expired, um, what do, what do you think your current options are? There's always people out there who want bombs. Bombs. Yeah, but what if we could help you with the bomb situation? You want bombs? I'll sell you bombs. Yeah, yeah, we could, we could definitely kind of work together on this. Um... It's like, how about we, would you like, like, an exclusivity kind of deal where we just, like, hey, you only help us with the bombs? Because we we might have a really big thing coming up that you could help us out with. Bombs. How many yes. bombs? A really big, a lot of bombs. We need a lot oh, yeah. of them. Okay. We're going to need okay. a Come lot. Come on, Gob Talk, let's go make bombs. Gob Talk! Wait, 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 wait. 
Right. Just hold still first. Let's make sure there's a good clear head. No more scaly man's going to be kind of knocking on the door. I, I'm about then, to pick her up by her neck. <laughs> yeah, like, let's let's have some patience. So if you have patience, that means you can make more bombs. Lab talk. Yeah, lab talk. Don't you want to wait a little bit before you make some more bombs with mom? Lab talk like you. It walks over to you. Like Orin will kind of pat Glove Talk on top of the head. It's like again, yeah, it feels yeah. like Play Doh. Its head kind of mushes to the side. Yeah, doesn't bother Orin at all. Like, yeah, so just wait for us to give you the word, and then we'll start the bomb production, and you're gonna be able to make a lot of bombs. Yeah, bombs, Glove Talk, bombs. All right, let's get to the other room. Gargoyle yeah, well, I was room. I was just writing, and then all this, this hoopla happened out there. I agree. Far too much hoopla in these parts these days. Are you just going to stand at the door there, dearie? What? Sorry, I was thinking about all the hoopla. <laughs> Make sure to wipe your shoes if you come in here. Uh, uh yeah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Bolly is going to, like, snap to attention, wipe her shoes on the mat. Allow me to introduce you to my compeer. This is Vali. She was just about to apologize for that hateful language and do a backflip. Uh, right. I'm very sorry about saying that. Oh, hold on, my cat is... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound authentic. You seem more interested in your cat than me. <laughs> She's eating a bag. <laughs> Missed you, idiot. Uh... Yeah, uh, I'm very sorry about that. I just knew we were looking for a gargoyle and there were skeletons shooting at us, and I think there's an arrow in my ribcage. Might have to worry about later. Very sorry about that, ma'am. Um, and you want me to do a backflip? Just, just, just prove your authenticity. It has been going very well today. People love that shit, Vali! Oh, I'm gonna do a backflip. <laughs> <laughs> like you're addicted, <laughs> like you're just scratching in your arms, like my backflips. Back it's flips. gonna be a natural one. She's gonna go this way, tumble off the roof. <laughs> please, yeah, please, exactly. please. No, oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, I do a backflip. Ta-da! Oh, wow, very good. You see, I have wings, so I don't need to bother with that. Anyways. Yeah, well, you know, some of us. Some of us have to make do with what we've got. Oh, Poor manners. Uh, you know, I oof. think that aside, um, we were told that you might be a uh, preeminent scholar in certain fields that we have need of, uh, especially regarding the elemental powers. Ah, yes. And like she turns, and like again, this this is a this is a, to, to to give sort of the the appearance of of um. Do Huckus here. She's like a scholarly type gargoyle, has um stone stony wings, a face that is um like ki kind of kind of goat like. Uh one of her horns is cracked off. Uh she's currently has like this this tome down in front of her, and she looks over at you with like like spectacles under her, her eyes. Uh, and she looks at you and looks up at Valley. Uh. Well, yes, I, 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 I'm very knowledgeable on things relating to the old powers, and it would explain why your friend here is so temperamental. <laughs> Papa Storm's lineage in that one. <laughs> Indeed. Is that racist? What? No! That was me, then. What? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop making up judgments, children. Uh, Anyways, yes. let us normalize the discourse. We happen to have found several elemental temples within the city's primary sinkhole. A great maze, including a grand ritual to the god of fire. We partook in it and seek wisdom in understanding what exactly we beheld. I am. Oh, well. Um, how how far down? Uh, how about how far down would you say, Thurston? Um, call. like it was it was it was a good like 
many layers. Um, let me check. One thousand feet. Here. I'm gonna double check. Just want to check some of your skills here, bruh. Cause that'll that'll help me. Um, you know what? You can give me a uh crafting check. Actually, here. Sure. Let me get my actual skills up real quick. Yeah. Crafting, crafting. it. Is. A nineteen. Yeah. Uh, so you're able to give like an a, an approximate um, distance down. Um, like it was, it was a good like several thousand feet as far as you you could gather. Uh, you're able to like indicate some landmarks and 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 no, no, basically reciting some of the elements you saw during your travel out of the temple through that sort of weird portion of the buried city until you reach the Candleback. And like all the while, Duhakis is nodding. Ah, yeah, I saw that. Seems like you traveled. through through a bit of uh, the, the the prince's occupation period near the end there, and eventually found a a, a spire that took you past most of the, the subsequent ages and the, the 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 nascent assembly era. Before that, though, you you, you definitely bypassed most of the, uh, the 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 era of the shining beneficite. But 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 I, I the, the temple itself must have been prior to the beneficite's appearance, which would have been when the the, the old powers had their most preeminent position here in the city. Yes. Very, very, very intriguing. Fascinating. And you said there was there was a, 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 a chamber dedicated to, to Uncle Blaze? Yes, there were his guardians that were enacting some kind of ritual, a chamber dedicated to Papa Storm, as well as one dedicated to the gods of water that had been taken over by a rotted goat. Goblin, ogre, giant creature. Yeah, the giant bowl. Vali will tell you all about it. I see, I see. Um, well, uh, looks at you, looks at... Have any of you died recently? Not lately. And not to my knowledge. Oh, good, good, good. What, why? Well, I, that would just confirm some things. If if you ended up in a temple, it, it, one might have assumed you, you gained some providence of the old power, perhaps a, perhaps a sponsorship of sorts. They, they tend to do that sometimes to people who find themselves in their places of power. Mm, I right, a sponsorship. Been... Well, there was that weird mural, and then, you know, those of you who touched the fire. And then, of course, I mean, the whole... Bowl incident. Bowl creature. Yes. Bowl. Yes. You said well, it was we... a giant. Did you find anything else of interest down there? Well, uh, we found it's the, the the orb, the essence. We've already had that. We already had that transmuted onto armor, didn't we? Uh, I yet. believe so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think yet. you know. We no, are... you did. I believe it was. It was no, like we didn't have. Time yeah, to it's do it it's yet. not done yet, but it's yeah, it's going to be is the plan. Oh yeah, so we we don't have it on our person. Any anything else that you found down there? We did find a weapon. Uh, can you read again the object whispers from the mace of moss that Rua had? I yeah, sure. I absolutely can do that. Um. The sidearm of Oak Faith Vent, a servant of the old powers from ages past. Weapon is imbued with magical runes and the essence of primal moss. When the shining beneficite conquered outset, Vent found a new way to burn. Yes, we found the shining moss. I relay all of that. Shining moss, mm, all right. Did you find anything else? A walking cauldron of some description. That was uh, not in the temple. That fell down with you. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, that scroll? A scroll, several rot creatures. There was the mural with Vali on it. You uh, want to open up the people's loot? Yes. What? We do have a scroll that we didn't actually look at. There's actually two items you didn't actually look at. Oh, uh, no. Which, oh, <laughs> yeah, unusual scroll, an unusual object. We found these the... two unusual things. Would you perhaps trade them for some refined scrap? The scroll? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the scroll is... Uh, I'm not a caster myself, but that appears to be... Hmm, 
primal magic, and, well, th this bracelet is clearly magical if it endured for so long down there. Mm, I see. There was enough a... arcana to identify it. Cough, cough. I'll, uh, I'll uh, do that uh, right now, you know, nine days, boss. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, which one do you want to start with there? As you're like, oh, shit, we have these things. Let me try to identify oh, them yeah, really quick. Totally, we came prepared. <laughs> totally forgot about it. All right, yeah, let's rock. Um... Aha! Well, I don't know what's going on with the freight slit. Uh, let's try the scroll now. That's great. Dude, speaker. Oh, do, do, I, do, I, do I have to roll for this shit? Can I just spend enough time on this <laughs> oh, to understand? No. <laughs> speaker, speaker I'm going to let you re-roll both of those to represent that. You just failed on the first day, but you remembered on the second day. Roll oh, for the bracer yeah. again. Yeah. Oh, look at Yay! that! Yay! 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 Petty Yay! roll! Uh, can, can, you, can you roll the, the, the scroll? Yay! 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 <laughs> I hate my life. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. This feels like a carnival, but the carnival is bad. <laughs> yes! I feel like I'm, I'm, oh, falling. No. I'm falling from the top of the Ferris wheel all the way down! <laughs> the dunk tank. Okay, so um, so a few things. You are able to identify this equipment. Oh my god. Um, congratulations. Yay, I have to pull up the item descriptions here. Uh, okay, so you're able to find, first of all, the, the bracers are uh, a magic item called bracers of, or bracelets of dashing. Okay. Okay. They... Uh, make you lighter on your feet and give you a plus one item bonus to acrobatics checks. Well worn. I want you. I want to point out you've had these in your inventory for four effing <laughs> sessions and never, ever even tried to identify them. Um, and once per day, uh, you can activate them to give you plus ten uh, status bonus to your speed for one minute. You need that. Yeah, that's. Do you Molly. want that? Do you want that, Molly? <laughs> Isn't, it, isn't like... it nice how that dungeon had like treasure that was keyed to all of you and Volley never even questioned why there was anything look, look, for We're Molly. too busy being goddamn hooligans, all right? Like... I got fan art. I thought that was what I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lean over. Hey, what's that do? This will enhance your speed and agility. Jimmy. The way I was thinking we could I, I give up well, whatever, fine, I guess. I'll uh, I'll move that over to your character. Like Black <laughs> Friday at Walmart just <laughs> Yeah, there you go. It's it's hooray. Look, it's on. Hooray. Okay. Congratulations. Uh, it's been easier. Had that this whole time. Yeah. You could have had that plus one bonus like for four sessions, but you know, it's never you know. mind. Um also, are you going to cast object whispers on that as well? Yeah, sure, I will. Okay, here you go. I'll I'll, I'll, let you, I'll, uh, I'll paste it in chat and you can uh, you can read it. There you go. Bang. Yay. Excellent. Uh, where is it? Maybe in our, chat. Yeah. Foundry chat. In Foundry chat. Yeah. Oh, in Foundry chat. Okay, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Bracers worn by Daura, intrepid traveler of the buried city, where to gain a portion of grace and momentary bursts of speed. The buried city is home to forgotten generations of outset's long history. Some secrets should remain buried, but few heed such warnings. Ah. There you go. Some secrets should remain buried. That's well, ominous, but surely not these secrets. Well, how bad could they possibly be? <laughs> oh no, we, un we unearthed the Wunsler. Put him um, back. Put him back. All right. Uh, cool. The scroll. The scroll is identified. Um, it is a primal scroll, but with your check, you're able to basically identify it. It is a scroll of mossy weapon, which is a spell that um, allows you to essentially make a weapon mossy. So gives it that moss trait for use against, say, rotten creatures. Intriguing. I shall hold on to this in case it is needed. Seems very useful that you found that stuff. Actually, it might be better off for Volley to have it. The can Volley cast? Can Volley cast scrolls? No, no. Basically, no. the only one who will be able to cast it is Orin. 
Oh, only Orin could use it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's one of those things where, like, Orin then wouldn't have to dedicate a spell slot or anything like that. And then he could at any point, like, say you find yourself against a creature of rot and he wants to buff your weapon or Volley's weapon. Say you had been fighting a boss that was made of rot and you maybe <laughs> wanted to buff one of your weapons to deal more damage without having to use the less optimal, like, mace that was the backup weapon. We you got know. it! We can't read! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh Thanks. no, I was right earlier in the session. We can't. It read. wasn't. It wasn't a gimmick fight, oh, so we just have resources to use later. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it worked out. It yeah. worked out. You know, free loot. Yeah. Free loot. It's yeah. all yeah. yeah. like you, you, you learned up. because you just did nothing but crit in that fucking fight. Okay. It's, it's, not, like, it's, it's right. not like we okay. walked up to the bottom of Yorm's foot and just kept whacking him with a club. <laughs> the store ruler is right there. What are you doing? <laughs> I did that fucking fight without using the spear first. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I'm an idiot. Opera. Uh, another question. Shortly after our arrival to the sinkhole, what appears to be a large, fiery elemental creature smashed our house into the pit. You wouldn't happen to know anything about something like that, would you? But could you describe it to me? We didn't happen to see it, but... Oh, what details did we get about this this monster from our good friend? Uh, Baldrick would have, like, explained that to you, I think. Yes. Yes, it was a large creature made variably of stone and flame, multiple small pebbles and rocks coalesced together by an animate force of fire. Yeah, uh, you'd also know that there were like bits of water and air in, in that as well. So like it was kind of like an amalgam of all the elements. Um, well, uh, oh, and she like the gargoyle sort of looks over at you. Oh, that's, sometimes powerful, powerful uh, beings with with ties to the old powers can can manifest uh, idolic spirits or or creatures uh, composed of elemental matter to to assist them. Mm. Could be one of those. If so, who would gain from summoning it at that time? I don't quite know. Now, now, now. You're sure none of you have died, right? Not recently. It was what a about long on the fall, inside? but I don't think we died. I see. Well, uh, there's more I could research about this temple and, and such. You'll have to give me details. I could uh, use my library here. Uh, am I allowed to stay here still? There was a lot of fighting noises downstairs, and I, I should I be leaving? It might not be safe. Would you Where be... should I go? I don't have a place to stay. Would you We've be... got a place you can stay. Oh, really? That's that's nice of you. That's starting to make up for your prior transgressions. Okay. Thank you for offering my house. <laughs> yeah. Well, more offering the, the amalgam of uh, the forge and the house, which is becoming our little base of operations. Um, Baldrick. You hear some like some pounding from like outside the curtain here. Um, like it's kind of echoing up the alley and you hear this. Hello. Hello. It's a voice coming probably from the entrance to the bar. It sounds oddly familiar. I'm going to step over the gnome. Ah. We help you. You hear this, oh. Oh. Baldrick, is that you? And like turning the corner, I don't have a token for this, but turning the corner uh, right here is the orc Hummel, who looks up at like from from the the, the ground level up at you. B Baldrick, is that you? Hummel, I... you might want to get lost. I uh, I need to talk to you. May I inquire uh, as to what? Because I don't have anyone else to, to talk to right now, and you're the only one I can go to, to with this. My man, 
you're still with the Tyrants Guild, right? Uh, no, no, not anymore. They fire you? Uh, kinda, yeah. Are it's you kinda wanted? what I wanted to talk to you about. Baldrick, if he's able to find us here, just all of a sudden, I mean, sure we make a commotion, but he knew where to find us. Yeah, I'm working on it. Almo, how the hell did you find us? Not out here. I think that there might be more... more there was a squad of uh, undead being sent here. Yeah, we took care of that. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. Well, look. I swear, I swear on whatever friendship we... Relationship, you want to call it, we, we had... Um, Zero percent, but continue. Look, I'm really scared about what's going on and what the Martinet's doing. And I can't talk about it openly. Oh, for God's sake. All right, fine. Get in the building and take cover somewhere. Oh, God, God, God. Uh, should I let him in? Yes! Okay. <laughs> and you hear the door open. <laughs> bombs, right. bombs, 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 bombs. Bombs. Yeah, yeah, you... we're gonna get you the details and, and stuff of that. You just hold put. Damn it all. All right, fine. I'm going to abscond into her alchemical lab. Yep. Thurston, I'd like to replenish my alchemical charges. Okay. I, I want to be able to craft my bombs again. Yeah, yeah. I do like... that by stealing her supplies. <laughs> Normally, no, in this case, sure. Like, at this point, you're kind of safely out of combat for a bit, so don't worry right now. You're, you, you, could, you could, yeah, narratively, like, grab all the supplies you need here. Oren, she's in your hands. Don't let her destroy the building or destroy that amount of material. Okay. Or just do something stupid, I guess. I'm trusting you, kid. If you screw this up, just please don't. Hi. Okay. She's, Hi. like, sitting, like, feet dangling off the side of her bed. I like bombs. I like electricity. I Look, he grabs a look. shit ton of ingredients and just starts sprinting down the stairs. So do you do you agree with the arrangement that hold on for now, we'll get you designs that we need for the bombs, and then when we send them to you, then production can start. But for now, I need you to lay low. So many bombs. Yes, I just need to wait. Are you okay with that? Or do you have an agreement? Because if you start making bombs too early, we have to call it off, and you can't make any more bombs. But I can make bombs for myself, right? Uh, yeah, for self-defense. Okay, good, we're at, good, good. We're at, You're asking you just not to make a lot to get exposed. We need you to be okay. as secretive as possible. Okay. Glub talk help. Club yeah, talk. go help mom. Glub talk bites your ear. Uh, there was an ability the that, like, you didn't get, which was glub talk hinder, where the glub talk basically, like, goes up on, like, you and starts, like, biting you and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, grab talk hinder. Um, okay, so Baldrick, you you head downstairs where like Holmel is sitting sitting at one of the the tables, um, sheepishly looking around, like very clearly not in his tyrant guild's outfit, is in like kind of regular street clothing. All right, what the hell is the deal? Okay, look, it, it happened about. <sighs> Happened just just about a day ago. Uh, the Martinet, she, uh, Martinet Cardoza, uh, she, she let all the prisoners go. Why? I don't know. She <laughs> let all of them go. Said nobody deserves to be a prisoner here and outset, and let them all go. That ain't right. She's plotting something. I know it. I don't, I don't know what's going. It was then she said, then she said we could all go, and then paid us a year's wages. So, care to explain why these, uh, why the plods are here? I don't know. She, she went back to the derg. Uh, you would know, like the dergs are basically fortresses for the Tyrants Guild, so it's kind of like a, a, a nomenclature for like different like Tyrants Guild outposts in Outset. Um, and you you would have enough to know because this is like your district. Um, derg San uh, uh, Sanren House is like Martinet Cardoza's derg. It's basically like an austere palace stronghold that's like on the edge of the sinkhole. 
uh, she she went back to the Dirk. And uh, she's she's meeting someone there, and then she's, she's called a bunch of the other forces back. I think there's some gala coming up. I don't know. One could say that. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, she's getting ready for that. But but someone someone from the prince's palasta came. Keep talking. Two days ago. I'm, don't don't know much about about who it was. Just some some foreign, well not foreign, but some some bigwig dick, dignitary. I thought maybe a conclave member, or a lower assembly member. I don't know, but but met with her, and then after that everything changed. She, she, she emptied the, the the prisons and called called all the outriders back. Only the prisons she's in charge of, right? Not all of them. And oh, only only the ones prison. only the one in this district. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, something's got under her bonnet. I have no freaking clue what it could be. Okay. What would I, uh? What all I know what, is the plods were looking. The, the, the plods were, were were told there was some kind of hostage situation going on here. That's why they sent out the squad. Well, luckily there is not. What exactly, Thurston? Uh, what what would be the reach of uh Cardoza? That you can give me a society check for. Society! Society! As soon as my character sheet wants to open. Thank you. I believe. Uh, it'll be a 24. Okay. Um, so, sh Martinet Cardoza has the rank of Martinet, which is essentially a regional authority within the Tyrants Guild, so they control anywhere from, like, dozens to hundreds of subordinates. In Cardoza's case, it's closer to, to hundreds. Um, essentially, they, like, have power zones throughout the city. Um, and then they they are essentially the second highest rank in the Tyrants Guild underneath the magnanimity which is the like the nobles that lead the tyrants guild the magnanimity being like a bunch of sort of like inbred mutants who live in the center of the baron's pilaster um, yeah um and and so like the martinets are really the the big threat the magnanimity is just like a bunch of really really old timey noble families who have so much money off of just the interest of their existing money that their rulership is more we get to live in the center of this pilaster and do whatever we want uh and they don't really care about the martinets uh, and so mo all the martinets basically get to operate with their own you would know cardoza is the martinet for this district and is like fairly fairly brutal minded like she takes her job very seriously very much believes in like the rule of law as she interprets it and just the the use of like fear and intimidation and the like the regular abduction of citizens right and so hmm? no I, i'm just i'm thinking of that yeah okay um so so yeah so so you you would you would know um basically that so either an upper house or got her to lean off really hard for whatever reason. She's flipped her lid or she's had some kind of religious epiphany, which is basically the same as having flipped your lid. Well, that's the thing. I was, when I was g getting ready to, to go, packing up my stuff, got my coin, mind you, it's going to be really good. I'm, I'm thinking I might move to the squire's palaster. It's w way calmer there. I can maybe get a get a small f farm plot and just, just sort of live it out there. You know, uh, really good for me and the, uh, and the family. Um, How nice for you. Uh, thanks. It smiles like tusks coming through. But uh, when I was on my way out, that's the strange thing. Uh, they were they were on the lookout for uh, well a group that looks like you and your friends. Uh huh. That would explain why we were why we were accosted. Well, no, I don't think they knew you were here. There was a hostage situation that got called in very recent. Uh, I just heard that on my way here uh, from some of my old guild, guild friends. But the the call out for you there there that came out a bit before this, so I don't think they know you're here. Yeah, so why are you here? Well, because she let all the prisoners go. There's something not going on right up there. Yes, but why specifically are you here? Let you, you know, know I was here. 
You didn't know well, I was here. Oh, 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 I knew you were here because, uh, well, the tree told me. You talked to Rohua? Well, yeah, he was with two other people. They said they were going to a restaurant. He just sort of let that slip, huh? I asked where, where, where Baldrick was, you know, Baldrick, my friend, and then he pointed over here. All right, asked me if I wanted to, to go for dinner with him, but I told him I was busy. Real nice. Yeah, exactly what I look forward to when I deal with someone who is, you know, a blabbermouth. Great, fantastic. Even when Hulky isn't here, he rolls natural ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Look, you're going to do whatever you're going to do. You're not with the Tyrant's Guild, so I don't care anymore. Just keep to yourself. Yeah, you, 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 you and your friends might want to lay low, though. Uh, might want to go back to to your place. They, uh, they don't, they don't know where that is. So I'm pretty sure. They better not. Right. Well, I'm, I'm gonna go now. Uh, good luck with your life. Get going. Okay, and then we cut back up to like back to the room with Dehakis Valley and Tanhauser, and now Oren, who has stepped in. Ow! Oh. Hello. You're no, I, I, was, I was wondering during that entire time, or is that like, there's my butterfly collection and it's just holding a frame. That's he just very, has it in his pocket. That's very beautiful. That and is sick got, as hell. Yeah, thanks, man. Like it was really hard to preserve them. He's a little pins. Like, you want one? No. i I don't have the temerity to take care of an animal. Uh, but they're dead. It's there the point still piece. remains. I can't, oh. not since the incident. Oh, I'm sorry, uh. Tan. Yes, you know. Well, you maybe slide. we should get going. You said you had a place I could stay. Yes, we do. We have a a, a house and a forge next door with uh, some should be some extra room. He was such a good shark, too. I'm so sorry, Tanny. It's okay. Just we'll get you out. a new shark. You will? We we'll will. keep it in the bathtub. My god, yeah. that's excellent. And we can throw people in there! Yeah! Whoa, we can even make yeah. a trap door to the, to the bathtub! Yes, this is a good plan. I like this plan. Anytime right, well, people don't like revolutioning, we just put them in the tub. I, um... I don't like mm -hmm. the, the, the skeleton men who are here, so maybe we should, uh... We should go. Is there any going. reason they would be coming after you? I, I don't think so. Huh. Is right, there any reason they going. would be coming yeah, after let's uh, go. Bomb Lady? Uh, like, and as soon go. as you say that, I assume that's when Baldrick has come back upstairs. And, like, walks over to, like, by the bridge to, to, towards yeah. you, Volley. Hi, Baldrick. What's the dealio? Someone from the uh, Tyrant's Guild, no longer affiliated Came by indicating that we should duck back to my place for the time being, after we find Rahua. Oh, oh, is that the place where I'm staying now? Yes. What? Yes, it is. Oh, hi. I'm Duhakis, and, like, pushes Volley out of the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm a scholar gargoyle with accolades from the University of Outset. It's a pleasure to meet you. Aldrich Weathers, terrorist, ex-college advocate. Oh, I love terrorism. Good. It always changes things for the better. I love terrorism, she says. Hey, man! Let's not say that part out loud. <laughs> I think that's the part that you keep in as an inside voice. Oh, oh you like terrorism? I <laughs> named 10 terrorists. <laughs> and that, and I think with that, that is actually where we'll call it for today. <laughs> Yeah. I'll be out here making my life harder. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna turn Baldrick's house into the base building mini game of this campaign. This is not. It is like not it. a flop oh, house. Yes. <laughs> Our next session will be streamed from Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, listen, I am not. I, my home. Rock my home is years. not. Oh, my God. home is not a flop house, and I am not a lush. Just fucking cool it. I'm sorry, it's no longer your house. It's our house. It's the people's In the house. metal of our street. Oh, our house. <laughs> sorry, but we've seized the means. Of your... Seize the means of my house. <laughs> In the metal of that street. It's a dictatorship of the proletariat. I'm very sorry. His house. True. We're kind of daring all you see. We just live inside your apartment. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. But now she End it. Oh yeah. I, I think that's yeah. it, right? I think we're done. Yeah, okay, that, that, okay, yeah, we're yeah, done. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm making yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm making sure there's nothing else of any other homes and people were abducting because apparently that's what we do. Yeah, <laughs> it's abduction. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Nerd Decoration. Thank you, people on Twitch, for the raids. They are very, very awesome, folks. If you like what we do and really want to help out the show, you want to get like this awesome little map here once we're kind of done with it, or get like some of the monsters that we use and. Things Things like that and get some updates and some other cool stuff uh patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration that's where you can find all the super duper cool stuff we develop monsters there put lore stuff in there put items in there all the awesome bits if you want to know more about us the show etc uh narrative declaration.com is also the best place to go it'll also have a schedule on when we are live we do bi-weekly so it's like every other week that we are so we can put all this stuff together to give you the quality of the show and with that I want to try to uh, reintroduce the people who made this show happen, the amazing talent that we have, starting off with Odo. Yeah, that's me. Hi, I'm Odo. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at OdoRoshiWriter. Uh, thank you very much for the game today. It was very much fun, everyone. Uh, let's, let's, keep, let's keep those ones rolling, lads. Whoa! <laughs> All right, next up, Hulky Crow. Great job! Yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome, yeah, be sure to follow him there, Arundel. Oh, yeah. I've been Arundel, I've been enjoying the game, I hope you've been enjoying the game as well. Uh, you can find me at Twitter at Arundelio. That's it, move on. Yay. Next up, Speaker D. Hi, I'm Speaker D, you can find me at Twitter at Super Snake Kick. You can find Hundreds of Parenting, which both Arundel and I work on, including our new audio drama that should potentially be premiering sometime this mm. month. Much and... If you really want to, if you really love us, you can check out Alpha Buse's Patreon, where not only can you give him money to help give us money, but you could also check in and see the latest Patreon update, where myself, Alpha Busa, our friend Blessed, and Eliphas work together to fail to play World of Darkness, or sorry, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, is the latest Patreon update, and is unlisted for anyone else. Except for those it's it's really here. bad. It's, it's really so, bad. It's not. It's gonna be. You know. You can. It's. It's a horror. It's something you gotta see it, and then maybe you don't. I don't know. Three hey, hours of there. uncut alpha abuse. Huh? <laughs> and then next up, we have Thurston Hillman. Oh hi, it's me. Uh, you can find me on all the things at On Call GM. Uh, starting on Tuesday, I'm gonna be streaming my narrative game playthrough of Elden Ring. So where I play through it and like do it from a story perspective and talk about game design stuff. So come catch me out there on Twitch. Um, also to latch onto what Zorn was saying about the the Patreon, our next update because now we have we have finished the cackling jackass arc, which I thought would be like one episode, but <laughs> what was I thinking? Um, this map, uh, lovingly done by to tell stories uh this three-layered map will be going up on our patreon so you'll get that so if you want like yeah you'll get a cool map with all three levels of these two buildings uh and then all the stat blocks for everything in here which i know it's been a while since we've had episode assets but we're finally out of here uh and then we got another cool pdf coming up too that uh, if you're interested in i don't know the diron skilled there might be some cool stuff uh otherwise yeah that's that's me i love all your faces thank you all. i had a great time um i'm looking forward to where we're going now t all right, with that, we'll see you guys here in about two weeks. And also, uh, thank you all to our supporters on Twitch subs and everything. You get to see the VOD early. And for the Patreon folks who get to see the YouTube VOD early, because it now goes behind the sub wall. Goodbye, oh. everyone. We love each and every single one of you. And we will see you all next time. So long. Farewell. Goodbye. See you next time. Bye -bye. Goodbye. Oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The toxic! Oh, shit. Oh, shit.